What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Oh, my lord. What's this? Aha. PSA return number blah, 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 blah. Take a look. We got our packs back from, like, forever ago. How long ago was this one, actually? I don't know. Can I look this up real fast? I should have done that. Let's see. PSA news. Mm, it doesn't say when it came back. Well, actually, here, I'll do a search. I want to know when these PSA slabs were sent out and when they returned. Packs, I should say. Boop. They were sent out last year in... Not November, the month before November. Is that October? Is it good? Does it go October, November? That's not too bad. That means they return in less than a year. Let's turn the music back on. Wow, Mr. Only Goes Live when I have to go to work, says Slither and Dat Butt. What's up, man? All right, so I say we start going through this return. Let's make a little, make a little mess over here. <laughs> I've already sorted them out. Everyone got bad grades. Actually, quite a few people got bad grades, so it was kind of sad. Turn that down a little bit. So, I'll start out with the two that were for me. So, first of all, I did very well with my Neo Revelation Booster Pack Japanese. They're still using these very ugly packs here that are all folded up. Well, not ugly packs, ugly slabs where they get folded up. They ought to design a slab holder uh, for the packs that can uh, hold the Japanese packs because this would look so much better if it was actually, like, you know, all the way spread out. Spread eagle. Uh... But yeah, I really like that. It came back 10. I'm very happy with, with that. That means it's authenticated. And these Neo Revelation packs were already expensive back when I bought this one. I can't imagine what they are today. That might be worth like a thousand bucks, whatever that was. Okay, now for my other slab, my other pack. This would be a Team Rocket First Edition pack. I sent one out just like you guys. And mine came back eight. Rip! Might as well crack it open and open it. An eight, not even a nine. That's rough. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> I'll probably keep it like this. Nothing wrong with it. You know, the nice thing is it is an eight, but it is authenticated. Basically, what they're saying here is this is not a resealed pack. Uh, this is not a counterfeit. This is the real deal. So even if you get an eight, there is still a little bit of a value to it. Okay, very cool. I mean, at the very least, I should be able to sell it for the price of a light pack, right? At the very least. Now for everyone else's stuff. So one guy uh, sent out a pack of... Uh, Pokemon base set Japanese and he had been waiting for this pack to go out for a while. It was Mr. Erod and he got a nine on it. Ah, oh, man. Rough. That's Erod. Now we have one for Mr. Supreme Boy. Oh, look, is Mr. Supreme Boy's Team Rocket pack. So back then we would have been doing Team Rocket uh, booster box breaks and he probably had a pack in the break and his came back nine. All right, well, that's okay. Nine's actually not that bad, in my opinion, right? It's not a 10, so it won't sell for a 10, but it should sell for more than an ungraded pack, in my opinion, because most packs deserve to be nine. Most packs have the little crimping in the front from having the pack sit on top of it, right? So most of them deserve to be nine. However, after that, we have Mr. Quinton. Mr. Quinton gets, oh, he gets an eight. I'm so sorry, Mr. Quinton. Are they getting tougher on the pack grades? Maybe. So Supreme Boy gets nine, but Quentin, like me, gets an eight. That sucks. What's up, Justin Congleton? Hey, hey everyone, I've been away for a little bit. Glad to be back. What's up, Casper the Ghost? Okay, now we get one for our lost friend, Mr. Daniel Schmidt. Where's Daniel Schmidt? I haven't heard from him in a while. Daniel Schmidt. He gets a nine. All right, very good. Mr. Daniel... I, I might have to get more bags. I think we're almost out of these little sandwich baggies. Okay, Mr. Daniel. Now we have Gene Hyatt. Oh, look, it's Mr. Gene Hyatt. I haven't heard from Gene in a long time either. It's been like a year, basically. Not a full year, but, you know, it's getting close. It would be like eight months. And it's a nine. Ah! Oh, he actually had two. Okay, so he had this one as well. And that was an eight. Rip! That's okay, Gene. It's the thought that counts. Wait, what? <laughs> All right, here we are. Boop. 
Boop. Now we have a pack for our friend Kenny Freeze. So Kenny Freeze sent out a Hidden Fates booster pack. Back then, I probably was talking about, oh, you should send out Hidden Fates and try to get a 10 on the Charizard. That's what he did. And he did get the 10. Congratulations, Kenny Freeze. That's probably a pretty decent uh, thing to grade right there. What do you think that's worth now? Who knows? Who knows what it's worth? One day, it could be worth a whole bunch if he just waits on it, right? It's like these Team Rocket packs. Well, he graded it now, but if he lets them get really old, they'll be very valuable, right? Now we have Mr. Slim and Harry. Slim and Harry with, was with us for just a little while, and he sent out two Evolutions packs. He got a 10 on the Charizard and then a 10 on the Blastoise. Fantastic. So those are Evolution packs. Ooh. As you guys know, we're supposed to have some booster packs go out to PSA, but I haven't been able to do that because PSA shut down their pack grading. So we just have our booster packs sitting in limbo right now. Okay, that's for Slim and Harry. Now we have Kodakon. Kodakon also said, hey, why don't you grade a Hidden Fates? But he also wanted two other slabs. So he gets a 10 on his Hidden Fates Charizard, a 9 on the Darkness Ablaze Charizard. That's really sad, because Darkness Ablaze is not even old, not even slightly old. And then, Unbroken Bonds, 9 as well. You know, the artwork looks really nice, so that's kind of cool. Well, they are preserved, and they are 9s now, but I think it'll take a long time for these to reach, you know, sort of like a good value, whereas this one is, is probably worth the value right now. Some people would probably go, yeah, okay, I'll buy that. Yeah, okay, I want these shiny Charizard. So there we go. And wow, that feels like it weighs five pounds. I bet you the price I was asking back then for the pack grading wasn't high enough to consider like how heavy the, the uh, shipping would be. I probably thought of all these as like first class shipping, like an idiot. <laughs> nope, they're gonna have to go priority mail. And then the price goes from like $5 to like $12. You know, the shipping does. All right, I'll go put all these on the shelf. If you were watching and one of your cards was in this submission, don't forget you must request shipping. I do not automatically ship these out because they're very valuable and I don't want it stolen off your porch or sitting in the mailbox all day during summer or winter. So you got to request shipping. In the meantime, they'll sit safely over here, okay? Okay, and I, you know, I do still have some cards sitting over here, so some people are not just claiming their cards. I'm sure they'll contact me eventually and be like, whatever happened to my card? All right, now I'm going to have a sip of my drink. I'm pumped. I just got back my PSA from a uh, sub from all the way back from last September. Whew. Oh. oh, man. How's it going, everyone? We started a little bit early just so we could do that PSA review. And let me toss these out of the way. There we go. Get the table nice and clean. Look at these wonderful slabs. What's up, Justin? What's up, Demetrios? Whoa. Whoa, that's a sexy loogie. Whoa. Whoa, that's a sexy Toto dial. There's a meteor shower tonight. Really? And here's Arceus Dialga Palkia. We'll do a quick... There we go. We'll rotate on the slabs just for fun. How's it going, everyone? Darren says, hello, sir. What's up, Darren? Let's see. Let's get some other music playing. We're going to play a little bit of Donkey Kong for now. And what I need to do is I need to find out about any pre-orders. Sometimes people do pre-orders. So we're going to go through our PayPal transactions. Mister, you should do giveaways. I should. I should just give all the Pokemons away. What's up, Starwin? I can see some transactions already coming in. But we want to go and look for the pre-orders first. So let's start there. All right, so I think the very first order of the night is a pre-order from yesterday for Timothy Drake. 
and he says five Japanese team up. All right, so Timothy Drake, he says, I have a bag, it's up top. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go looking for Timothy Drake's bag. Here it is. Whoa, that's an old bag if it's sitting back there. So, Mr. Timothy Drake, let's see what you pull. Jo oh, we got a new member. New member, Joseph Posey. What's up, Joseph Posey? Austin says, are the junk boxes still for sale? Yes, they are. Junk boxes are still available. Every night, every time we go live, we make about half of a junk box. About half of a junk box. All right. Here goes. Cold. We've got Moltres. Cold. Do you know if you received my package? I did. Yours was the package with like a bazillion fancy cards in it, right? Yes. So your cards safely arrived and they're sitting in a box full of uh, your cards and other people's cards who they sent over just to have me submit them. Wow, that was five really cold packs for Timothy Drake. Timothy! I'm sorry, Timothy. Holy. That is a cold start. Whew, it's like taking a cold shower. Kyle Fitzwater, he says, too chilling rain. Oh, you guys might notice that the EV heroes are slightly cheaper now. They are now $7 a pack. There are also Star Wars Gal Galaxy 3 packs available. They are on the pricey side. I only have one box of it. That is why. Where did I place it? Oh, here it is. We have one box of Galaxy 3. Here. I'll do a little opening on it right now. So the packs are a little pricey because I just have the one box. I don't even have Galaxy 2 yet. This is a booster box from like 19... Look, it says 1995. So this is actually older than all star, uh, all Pokemon cards. Older than them. I got some really, really old... Oh, wow, look at that. I got some really, really old cards coming from like 1982. You guys will want to see that when that arrives. It's really neat. So here it is. Seven deluxe trading cards. Whoa. Let me make sure this has 36 packs in it because it needs to or else I priced it wrong. Give me a minute. Uh, it doesn't say anything. Let me let me count up a quarter of the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it does contain 36 packs. We're good to go then. So those are brand new tonight. Nobody knows what's in these. Nobody knows what it looks like. So that's very exciting. Haven't been here in like six months, and you got a lot of TCG now. What's up, Starks Assassin? That's right. We got a lot of different cards now, don't we? That's one of the things we did. That's how uh, one of the ways the channel has changed. Uh, we started offering all kinds of different cards you can open. All right, here's Metagross. And Pokemon is still the most popular TCG to open by far, which I'm not surprised by that. I'm a big Pokemon fan myself. I remember when the subscriber goal was 15K. Woo! <laughs> now it's 100K, right? We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We're currently at 25 and a half thousand. 25 and a half. So we're on our way to 26. What do you like on your mashed potatoes? I am not a big mashed potatoes guy. I would probably not scoop myself any mashed potatoes at all. I've never liked... Potatoes are just okay. Potatoes are okay. I don't hate potatoes. I don't love potatoes. You know what I mean? Ooh, so good. Excuse me. Probably going to be burping now. I got root beer with me. Okay. Mr. Kyle Fitzwater is done. And we have Derek Ortega. He wants five packs of chilling rain. Our Jesus says you're grounded. <laughs> My wife, on the other hand, she loves potatoes. She could eat potatoes in every dish. Mister, you're not selling your tings no more? That's right. <laughs> well, the rings have the old logo on them. So they're, they're still in here, but they're not for sale. Because they are the old logo. Do you remember the wig packs? <laughs> Mister, that's blasphemy. <laughs> Derek Ortega, he says he has a bag. Good luck, Derek. 
I want to buy one, mister. Uh, okay, well, um, hmm. I don't even remember what I was selling them at, do you? I guess if you put in an order for one, I'd probably still honor it. MetaZoo! Yeah, I'm trading in all my Pokemon cards for MetaZoo. I am down bad. All I want is first edition MetaZoo. I heard it's going to the moon! What do we got? We got Volcarona. Here's... Oh! Rainbow Metagross. Right off the bat. Did I say bat? Metagross. Gross, gross, gross. I remember when TCC did orders as they came in. What? Here's... Also Calyrex. Ooh, Calyrex. Very nice. And... Hatterene Dug Trio. How nice. English team up is back. Bit price in comparison to Japanese. Yes. And when it's out, I don't think I will be restocking it. Because it is so pricey. So Derek Ortega. Mr. Derek. I'll probably restock it eventually. But you know, I think that actually, I like the XY era stuff better. And they're similarly priced. Dennis. Dennis the Menace. Derek Ortega. All right. Whew. MetaZoo is the TCG version of GME. I don't really feel like that's true. I wouldn't call it a, I wouldn't call it similar to GME. GME is like, you know, they're the movie industry. They're not like gone. You know what I mean? Everyone's betting against the movie industry shutting down, but it's not like people don't like to go out and watch a movie. Maybe that is how it is. Andrew Martinez, who says two live custom boosters. Now look at this. That is a fat box. I came prepared. Mr. Andrew, you've got Drone Rotom and... Choop, 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 choop. Oh, what do we have here? We're starting out with the one large. All right, well, you're going to go into the large, which is, I suppose, better than if you had simply pulled two cold packs. Here's the large custom. It's actually quite far along. Take a look at this, guys. So we're going to move you down to 16 as well. There we go. Andrew Martinez, 14, 15, 16. Justin Huerta. He says, good evening, mister. I'd like one gym challenge custom. You got it, Mr. Justin. There we go. It's Justin. Woohoo! It's me, Justin O. He also wants a Star Wars Galaxy 3 and one English team up. Oh, why? Okay. Oh, wait, that's Galaxy 1. So here is Star Wars Galaxy 3. We did it! And one team up. Where'd the team up go? Here it is. Ugh. Okay, one team up, one Star Wars Galaxy 3. Sleep. Why is this music so calming? I have a disease and the only cure is Pokemon. What is a large custom? Man, that must be one of the most common questions. That and what is the live custom? Here's Dana. Just a Dana in that pack of team up. Whew. Now how about this? I'm very curious. Okay, the cards don't feel like they're sticking at all. That's nice. All right, so we have brand new artworks here. Let's find out what's going on. Hmm, you might have just pulled a hot card out of here. So here's Luke. Now, wait a second. We don't sleeve every one of these, do we? What we do is we put them back into the pack. So I see a Han Solo. Is this a Han Solo etched? No, the cards were sticking to each other slightly. Uh, a lovely artwork featuring all of the heroes. Oh, it's about a story written after the movies. Okay. Come on now. Looks like this is a story as well. Very interesting. Stuff I've not read. My sisters used to read the... Uh, what is this? Look at that stamp up there. Oh, huh, that's new. Take a look at that. 
Oh, some kind of naked, or not naked, I was reading your comment. Some kind of golden stamp. Weird. I do not know what that's all about. This one has a stamp too. This one says, first day production. What? Is that, I'm assuming that's good. Cool, so that one says first day production. I guess that would mean like first edition, basically. Huh. So you got a first edition card. You also get, oh, look at this. That looks cool as heck. Oh, what's going on down there in the image? That looks like Lando. Oh, I see. So that's Princess Leo and Lando's kissing her hand. And the bad guys are in the background going, <laughs> another birthday party. All right, happy birthday. Cool. So that pack was very interesting. It appeared to contain a first edition card and some kind of Lucasfilm stamp, which I don't know if that has any sort of significance, but I, I suppose it does since they don't all have it. There you go. So that belongs to Justin Huerta, Mr. Justin. Why is PSA got to be closed, man? I would love to be sending these off to PSA for you guys. I really would. So many cool cards and we can't send them off. What a P they need to shut down their two hundred dollar ex uh, express. They just need to shut it down. They shouldn't be accepting cards for two hundred dollars while they got all these bulk cards and back stock. They should just keep it all shut down and get it all done. They're like, nah, you'll pay us two hundred dollars. Mister Justin, do we wait? Do we move your bag? Is that why I didn't see your bag? Maybe we moved your bag. Oh, it's right over here, Mister Justin. Here we are. All right, here we are. I'm in the overflow. So you are. How about that? There we go. All right. After Justin, we have Brandon Canella. Hey, mister, I want my Tifa, and I want it now. One Tifa pack. Please give it a wet smudge. You got it. One Tifa pack. I want my Tifa pack, and I want it now. Flesh and blood is the new Metazoo killer. <laughs> Oh, man. Who buys into all that hype, you know? All right, here, let's snip it open. Flesh and Blood's going to be the new Pokemon killer. <laughs> I forgot to say I need a bag of my order. My B. No problem. Here we go. What do we got? Fencer! I'm going to need that fencer. Crow. Uh, Yes. And who's this? Bell Dat. Okay, Waifu. Here's a realm. Clara Theodore. The See, that messes me up every time. Theodore. Makes me it makes me sound like I'm saying it wrong, but it looks like it's spelled that way. It's not Theodore. Theodore. So weird. <laughs> Alright. Very cool, mister. Mister, she's seven. Who? Bell Dat? So this is for Brandon Canella. I got a bag. Brandon with the B, huh? Oh, Mr. Brandon. I think this will be it. This card looks really nice. Damn, she got some boobage hanging out in front of her. Holy. Beldat can slay me anytime. <laughs> Holy moly. Brambon? That's right, Brambon. Did CGC shut down too? No, 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 I don't think they did. Now we have Joshua Artiega, who says, can I please get two spots in the large? Joshua Artiega. You got it, Josh. I graded with PSA, but I really like CGC for Pokemon, and with PSA is for resale. Yeah, PSA has got the lead, that's for sure. PSA has got the lead. I wish that CGC was just a little bit cheaper than it is right now. So four spots left there. Next up, we got Joseph Posey. Eight matchless fighters. You got it, Mr. Joseph Posey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
where do I sell my kidneys for the Pokemon cards? It would be cool if you had a list of slabs you were willing to sell. Yeah, I just don't have time to, to update a list and constantly add and remove cards from it. It's not worth my time. All these slabs can go into the live customs for all I care. I just do this because people liked it. That was it. So I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah, these can all just go in the live custom. Here it goes. Oh, mister. That's the Galarian Moltres. That's the whole reason I got you matchless fighters, guys. What a big hit. First pack that he opens too, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Fantastic. What do you think that's going for? I bet it goes for like five to $600 as a 10. Fantastic. That was for Joseph Posey. Congratulations, Joseph. Woo! Fan-freaking-tastic. So hot. So very hot. Here's Artish Muno. Woo, caca! Joseph says exactly what I wanted. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> okay, there's the Artish Muno. Cold. Here's Blaziken. Wow, you're just getting plenty of pulls, too. Like, what the... I'm still waiting for the pending to come through PayPal. Is cleared my bank account. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that message. I'm sure it'll clear. Just a matter of time. And then I can send all your pricey Pokemons over. And cold. Well, you did very well with this order. Congratulations, Mr. Joseph. Mr. Joseph. He says, I have a bag. Let's go looking for it. Mr. Joseph. Who's this? Oh, Joey Ardiega. <laughs> Gotta be real careful with that. Okay, you're not on that box. How about this box? Oh, there's Joshua Ardiega. The other Ardiega. Here it is, Joseph Posey. Ring around the Posey. Who sang that when they were a kid? This guy just pulled all the hot pulls from the entire purchase Mr. Made from Master Spider. Ripped the rest of us who bought. You don't know that. It could be two of them. Next up, we got, there could be a Golden Snorlax. There's Charles Brucker. He says, nine Silver Lance, nine Jet Black Spirit, please, and live shipping. Sounds good, Charles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. the jet black spirits here they are i had things all stacked up over here one two three four five six seven eight nine all right i have a bag he says i have a bag mr charles sneep sneep Sneep. Wow, there's a lot of pokies, man. Still in shock, guys. That's how it goes, man. Some people get those crazy hot pulls, and then they're like, I can't believe it. <laughs> Everyone expects to pull cold, but the truth is somebody pulls hot. Somebody does. How become member again? My card expired. You're... Oh, look at this lovely card. That is the Calyrex Full Art. Very nice. Secret rare. Two... Here's Tornadus giving you a punch. Okay, punching you. Stop it. It's so violent, man. Violent kids game. That's what Pokemon truly is. Teaches children wizardry and witchcraft. Trying to lead them away from God. I just pulled the alternative Moltres. What? Now I can't stop buying that, uh, that set. <laughs> oh, now you can stop buying the set. I see what you're saying. There's Zarud. Cold. 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 Here's Grappelocked. Look at that Grappelocked. Here's Cobalion. Oh, I'm thirsty again, man. Cold. 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 Here we go. We got one Blissey. And you got one more pack. Are you ready? No, two more packs. Cold. 
And finally, hey, that's an Arctivish. Very nice, mister. All right. Trash man took my trash away today, which means after this stream, I can throw all my empty booster packs away. Wow, look at all that. Five. So you open up 18 packs and you got five pulls and one secret rare. Pretty good. So Mr. Charles Brucker would also like to have his stuff shipped away. Let's go find your bag, Mr. Charles. Let's start there. Casey, Christian, Carter, Christopher, Charles Brucker. How's it going, Charles? Oop. Mr. Charles with the pretty pony. Let's see if we can get my sh oh, let's see if we can get my shipping software going. I'm a little scared. Computer's running real slow today. Good and you, Mr. I'm feeling pretty good. All right, we're just checking your address and what you offered. Yes. And let me go ahead and reset this real fast. There we go. Grab your email. It's 12.07. That means it's officially time for people to start showing up. We got 200 viewers. Very cool. Very cool, guys. And pray. Let's turn on some other music. Okay, I got your label, and I got your bag. Mr. Charles Brecker. Here, let's restart the music. Oh! The, end, the opening to this music is so good. Every time I hear it, it puts me in the, the mood, you know what I mean? Oh, having a big drink there. Oh, man. So now we have Richard Johnson. He wants 10 chilling rain and one live custom booster. You got it. So Richard Johnson. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh. Looks good. Oh man, I just had a good idea on how to keep the live custom boosters more random. Sneep. Sneep. What's my idea? I can't say it. It's a good one. I just had it while we were sitting here and I was snipping up these packs. So here's Melanie. And Tornadus. What's the song? This is called WarioWare. It's me, Wario. Wow. Here's Gallade. Tornadus again. Oh, my Lord. Way too much Tornadus. He doesn't even have legs. He just lives in a cloud. Passimian. That's a fruit. Volcanion. Ooh. Oh, Lapras, how nice. All right. So you end up with four hits, but none of the secret rares. Let's take a closer look. Moltres, Volcanion, Tornadus, and Tornadus VMAX. Out of 10 packs, that's actually pretty good. That is much higher than the one out of every five pack pull rate. Now you also need a live custom. Mr. Richard Johnson. Choop, 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 choop. Fire crystal. Ah, darn it. Darn it. 
And that's going to go in the R box. Let's see if we can find your bag, Mr. Richard. By the way, guys, if you ever want to make your bag thinner on the table, you can do that by donating your holographic cards. You know, if you don't want them. Oh, Richard. I think Richard might need a new bag. But we're going to look around a little more. He didn't say he had a bag. Do me a favor, guys. When you make an order, let me know the status of your bag. It really helps. All right, so we're going to create a new bag for him. You should auction off the bummer card when it gets full. He's in the top. Are you sure? I just looked. I'll, I'll look again. Ryan, Raul, Ryan Tapat, Tappet, Ryan Hutch, Ryan Brown, Ricardo Gutierrez. Oops. Mm -hmm. Sounds like he has a bag though. We'll go looking for his bag. Richard Brown. Who are all these guys? Red Express. That's like a nickname. Papa Giorgio. Those are nickname bags. They need to go to the. Uh, they need to go onto the other shelf. The abandoned bags shelf. Nickname bags went away in November of last year. Richard Vasquez. That one keeps getting me. Rob Ryan. Ruben. Richard Kemmermer. Ran M. Ryan, Ryan Hutch, Raul, Ryan Pieta, Raul again, Ricardo, Ryan Payne, Ryan Lanuski, Rogelio. So you're not there, mister. You must be somewhere else. I'm going to go ahead and create a new bag for you so we can keep the stream moving, okay? When your grading service opens up, grade the bummer card. <laughs> no, I probably won't do that. <laughs> Maybe I will. I mean, that sounds like it could be funny. All right, there you go, Mr. Richard. And now we were fresh. Mr. Is my doodle on the table somewhere? Mr. What happens to abandoned bags? Uh, they go onto the shelf behind me in a big, like, holding container that is also alphabet, alpha, uh, alphabetized. That's the word I'm looking for. Alphabetized. Is that right? Alphabetical order? Whoa, a lot of orders have come in. Oh, my Lord. When I refreshed, I saw that we had a lot of orders. Let's see. Here's Richard Johnson. Next up, we have Alexander Morales. Ooh, excuse me. He needs one chilling grain. Can you take out the reverse cards and donate them? I sure can. My bag is probably there, mister. Still haven't fixed PayPal yet. Oh, okay, sounds good. Well, do this when it's time to have you shipped. Let me know that you probably have two bags on the table, okay? And I'll go looking for both. When, the, when I'm not live, I have a lot more time to go looking for bags than when I'm uh, when I'm in the actual stream. So you got this lovely Lapras. I mean, it is a Lapras, right? It's got a little Melanie in the background. There we go. That goes to Alexander Morales. Alexander, I know you're here. Do, do, do. Alexander Hurst has been in that box for so long. I thought you spent your whole day skinny dipping. <laughs> no, no. Ah, here we are. Alexander Morales. Mr. Alexander. All right, and you said you want to donate your regular hollows. Let's take a quick look at what you got. Peony. Whoa, that's nice. Okay. Oh, you'll probably keep the Xerneas. He's pretty... Oh, I see. He's quite off-center, actually. No, you don't... If he can't grade 10, what's the point of keeping him, to be honest? That one's off as well. You can see he's thinner on this side. 
Yeah, hollows are interesting because I think they do have some value, but only if they can grade well. The modern ones, they basically have to be a 10 or else I won't touch them. All right, there you go. Wow, that's a big donation. I really appreciate that. My real name is Waifu. <gasps> you tricked me. I bought an MS69 one ounce silver coin yesterday. Hey, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, silver coins are neat. I don't think they're collectible the way Pokemon cards are collectible, but they're fun. Next up, we got Trent McCulley, one live custom booster and two EV heroes. You got it. Mr. Trent. Choop, 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 choop. Hey, that's kind of nice, actually. That's a team up. Now, I don't know. I think it's a little off center for a 10, but I will sleeve it up anyways. That is a fancy holographic card for sure. Okay, there we go, a Veltal. Two Eevee heroes, huh? I've been using stocks to save my count and I'm up to 2K. Whoa. Do, 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 do. Wow, this music is groovy as heck, man. Just a holographic floor jazz, Mr. McCauley. Trent McCauley. Trent. Wow, you got a holographic Fortnite card, man. Not a lot of people did. Actually, we still have those for sale for anyone who's still interested. I think there's at least half a box left. Diddy Kong Racing was a jam. Tyler Matson, hello sir. I would like a whole box of Japanese matchless fighters. Oh, that's why you were concerned. I'm so sorry, Tyler. Mine sweep. Here it goes though. Let's see what kind of luck you get, man. You never know. You never know. You might get a hyper rare. You might get a golden Snorlax. Golden Snorlax is in this set. Good luck. Buy 10 billion cases of MetaZoo, Soros, Warren Buffett. God, dude, people are so... It's so dumb, dude. It's so obviously overhyped. We watched, we watched Hype take the price of the special delivery Pikachu and bring it all the way up to 3,000, and it has fallen way down since then. And there's like 444 tens of the... Everyone was like, you gotta buy a special delivery Pikachu. He's really rare. There's like 450 tens already, and everyone's cards are not even back from PSA, and there's a whole bunch of nines, and there's still raw ones for sale online. You can just go buy a raw one and grade it yourself. You know, everyone was trying to get on that special delivery Pikachu hype, and back then I was like, it's all hype, guys. Don't buy it. That's what I was saying. I was saying he's way overpriced, and that's exactly what's going on with, like, the MetaZoo stuff. It, it doesn't have... In my opinion, it doesn't have, like, a backbone. You know what I mean? Like, okay, MetaZoo. What game does it have? You know, like, what video game does it have? What famous story does it have? What movie? What what TV shows? Who's going to host the MetaZoo tournaments? Pokemon actually hosts Pokemon card tournaments where you can win, like, $25,000 or more, right? They actually have stuff. And uh, people show up to these events. So... Imagine spending so much money on a, a thing that just came out and it's just a made-up toy. It's the effect of social media. It just shows you that social media can make something much more expensive than it should be. Uh, but in particular, I, ju I just don't think it's that collectible right now. I really don't. I really think it's just adults getting in on it like it's going to be some big investment. It's It does not strike me as an investment. It strikes me as like another pump and dump. And, and that might not be the... Uh, the person who invented MetaZoo, he, maybe he just wants to make a card game. But all the people who are, like, buying it right now, they're like, yeah, it's going to go to the moon, man. Got to get in on this. It's, it's total FOMO. Fear of missing out. And then that fear of missing out is going to turn to dread when you realize you put all your money into this thing that's now declining in value. Cold. What if you're just in it to play the game? Well, that's no problem at all. 
you should. If you just want to play the game, that's that's probably the best way to uh, enjoy something new like MetaZoo, right? Same with the whole flesh and blood thing. Like, if you just want to play the game, go play the game. But the reason you see the price climbing on it is because it's all these guys speculating that, oh, no, there's not enough of it. I'm not going to get... I got to get my first edition booster box. You know, it's, <laughs> it's silly. To me, it's real silly. What do we got? We've got Shaman. All right, don't worry. Here we are. Oh, you did pull a hyper rare, but it was Ball Man. No. All right, now don't freak out yet. Maybe you got two secret rares in the box. Often when there's a hyper rare, you have a chance for another good card to come out. So let's find out if you have two in the box, because if you do, that would be fantastic. Okay, here's Sloking. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping you get two secret rares in here. Remember, when, when someone gets two secret rares in a box, it's very often a hyper rare box. I don't know if that's on purpose or accident. There's Beedrill. It could just be anecdotal. Maybe getting two in the box is just RNG. It doesn't matter if it's a hyper rare or not but it's just a little pattern I've noticed. There's Slow King. Rah. Here we go. Oh, Slow King. Cold. No, that is Arctivish, or Dracovish. I don't know, man, three packs left. You might be the Avery Ball Man. I'd like to donate all my normal holo cards. Oh, that's so nice. He says, cut the bulk a little bit. Cut the bulk. Well, I could slide. Oh, I see what you're saying. You mean like lowering the size of the bulk that you have. Okay, there's the Blazy Kin. Here's Hatterene. I don't know, man. Last pack. Ah, uh, it is an Avery box. I'm sorry. Womp, womp. Once we see Logan Paul hyping it up, we know that it's a pump and dump. Ha. Huh. All right, it sounded like you were interested in donating your hollows. Let's take a review of what you actually pulled. Lovely Blaziken, Arctivish, this Slow King who always looks nice, this V Slow King which looks nicer than like half the cards in the entire set. You've got the Galarian Moltres, Blaziken V Max, and then this beautiful Avery. Ah oh, well, somebody will want Avery, right? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I was hoping you would pull like the Snorlax, to be honest. All right, there you go, Mr. Tyler Matson. Matchless cuz go play with himself. I bought 30 boxes and not a single gold Snorlax. That's all I wanted. Yeah, he is a bit rarer than the other cards, it feels like. Now we have Sean Miller with a pending order. Mr. Sean Miller. Sean, I just took down a pending order for you. Here you go. Sean Miller, when you have to transfer money between your bank to your PayPal, it, it will be pending. So that might be what's going on. It said it cleared. Uh, this is pending on my side. It says pending right now. I can click on it and see if it's cleared now. I don't think it would happen within minutes. It usually happens within 24 hours or several days. Oh, actually, yeah, it does say completed. Let me try refreshing. Give me a second, I'm gonna try and refresh because if, if it has cleared, I'd like to open them for you right now. All right, so where were we? Oh yeah, it's completed now, how weird. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. Cleared in minutes, huh? <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Now it makes sense. You're in the UK, right? So your banks are actually still open. Here in the United States, all the banks are closed. That would explain it, wouldn't it? So if it's coming out of your bank or having to transfer between your bank in some way, well, you guys are still open in the U... What time is it? 6.30 6 a.m. in the UK. Maybe your bank is actually open and doing stuff. That might be it. All right, do we get five or do we get six? Should be five, here it is. Good luck to Mr. Sean. Sean, oh! oh! Sean pulling Umbreon. He got a little angry face, he got a little frown. All right, cold, cold. 
also called, and finally, Amar Shadow. Mr. Sean, here we are. All right, congratulations on your secret rare. Mister, I just bought 100 cases of MetaZoo for 1 million. I got a good deal. Oh, mister. Now we have Anthony Perez, who wants three of the Star Wars Galaxy Ones. Ah, yes, Galaxy Star Wars. And three of the Star Wars Galaxy Threes. So I'm highly curious about these cards over here, huh? Are you ready? Okay. Anthony Perez. Here's the Leia as an assassin, Chewbacca's home, the mercenaries, the doctor. Oh, mister. Very good luck for you today. What did you pull? Oh, that is the Darth Vader from Galaxy One. This is a chase card. This is an etched card. So if we zoom in, you can see the card is actually figured like a Pokemon full art. If you guys haven't seen these in real person, you'll see that they are just like a Pokemon full art. Very nice, mister. So that's why you might open up Pokemon Galaxy Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars Galaxy 1, there we go. Also, you do get a sexy Leia. This is a concept art for Leia. Very lucky. Pull rate is pretty low on those etched cards, so that's how it is, guys. Okay. Next two packs. You know, I, I think I'm just going to trim the tops. I think that it actually puts less pressure on the cards. Really, it does. Put that, put that Darth Vader in the front. <laughs> he looks so good. Chat moving so fast, my super chat got missed. Let me scroll up. Sir, you forgot to pull the hollows from my bag. You're trying to give up the hollows from your bag. You paid for bulk, mister. Let's see what we got here. Darth Zaddy, that's right. Mister, you gotta keep those hollows. You paid for them. So we got this lovely R2-D2. You know, you could probably just grade this. It's just an R2-D2 card. People love R2-D2. Yoda, Lando, Dagobah. Two cards stuck together, smooching. All right, Rancor and the General. Admiral, whatever his name is. What the? All right, we won't touch that anymore. And how about this one? I'm now accepting all forgotten bags. How nice of you. AT&T. Okay, we got the AT&T. Here's uh, the cover art. Sexy Leia on an iguana. AT&T. That's right. Ewoks, the robots, this guy sitting in a in, in a bar just having a drink, Yoda, and the Chewbacca family. All right, very good, man. So that was for Anthony Perez. Anthony, I'm jealous of that Vader. If you ever want to make a trade on that Vader, let me know. Now for your other packs, let's see what we got. Sneep. And snip. So these are the new set. I've only got one box of it tonight. And let's see where it goes. Let's see what happens. Would you grade a TCC signed card? Um, are you asking if I would grade it when I'm able to grade cards? Or are you asking my opinion? That's up to you, mister. Here's the job was. There we go. No clue on this one. 
The truth that Bakura tells the tale of an unlikely alliance between the rebels and the empire on the outer rim world of Bakura. Oh, so in this case, this is a human slave, and this is the uh, the race that they're making an alliance with. Look at this. It says Lucas Arts. You can play the PC game Tie Fighter from Lucas Arts and enter the story and take part in the Star Wars Adventure Tie Fighters. Huh. Very cool. Maybe that's an artwork for like their game. What do we have back here? <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's funny. It's a good pose for a C-3PO. Han Solo, King of the Ewoks. Maybe that was, were they originally planning that? Oh, they're celebrating the defeat of the Empire. That's what's going on. First day production. Huh. I guess it's just some artwork. Crazy. I know I'm going very slow, but that's because these are new and I'm enjoying it. There's like flowers on the picture. Okay, so that's from, oh, that's from another book. So this card is about a book that they wrote after the show, after the movies came out. Kind of interesting. Illustrations for the books. All right, that's pack one. Let's try pack two. We might have to change the music now, guys. Let's change the music. Yoshi called. Let's try that. It's getting to be a bit much, wasn't it? Ah, calming Yoshi music. Now I'm in happy mode. Drew Struzan is the preeminent movie poster artist of the day. Not yet 50, he's responsible for the key art for films from E.T. to the Indiana Jones series. He's been involved in the Star Wars world since doing the Star Wars circus poster and the retouch illustration. Man. Imagine being so important. Again, we're opening cards from 1995 with these guys. They're quite old. Here's Han Solo and the crew. Apparently, that is an illustration from another story. Birthday droids. Huh. May the... May your birthday be very special. Yeah, it is a birthday illustration. Han Solo celebrating the defeat of the Empire, as we read earlier. Uh, Lando uh, portraying his friends. Oh, we've already seen all these artworks. I wonder how large this series is. Look at that. Let's put Mr. Galaxy in timeout. What? In the PC game X-Wing, you can experience space combat firsthand as the pilot. So cool. So the LucasArts ones are referring to the video games. Hmm. I find that very interesting. Okay, we'll put that back there. And you got one more pack. I know we're going very slow, guys. There's going to be a long wait time. Okay, that's merely a list. This is... Wow, this is a great card. Look at this. That's Luke Skywalker and his father. Right after his father saves him and he drags him away. Wow, what a great illustration. Dude, that's cool. Okay. Another video game, perhaps? Let's see what this one is. I have no clue. <laughs> Lucas Arts. Here, I'll place it over here. <gasps> oh, I saw an etched card. Well, let's take a quick look at this.
So this is a crashed X-Wing fighter that's been turned into another sort of vehicle. And you did pull one of the etched cards. Are you ready? Dude, the Jawas. Oh, man, that looks insane. Take a look at this, guys. I have to say, the quality of the etching on this card is actually better than the Darth Vader card. So they must have gotten better at producing these. It looks more crisp. I do notice, however, on this edge, uh, we have an issue we've seen with Topps cards before. Those are like little threads, and they come, I imagine, when the cards are being cut. Wow, that looks crazy, dude. You got really lucky, too. Okay, we got two more. What is going on here? A living Jedi tree, a female Jedi in training named Jem, all serve as fodder for dazzling Dave Dorman's painted cover for the issue Dark Horse Comics. One of the Clone Emperor's mutant monsters bred for war as it attacks Lando and the droids. What? I don't feel like that explains this at all. And how about this? Somebody was here. <laughs> okay. So I guess those are also bounty hunters. <laughs> Very cool. Wow, man. All right. Congratulations for those excellent etched cards. Let me get back to the list here. That was for Anthony Perez. Anthony Perez, do you already have a bag? Let's go looking for Anthony Perez's bag. Hmm, I don't see one there. Anthony, did you have a bag? You didn't mention it in your message. Anthony Haymeyer, Adam Smith, Andrew Amos. I will go ahead and create a new bag for him. I don't see him answering and he didn't say he had a bag in the messages. In the PayPal message. There we go. All right, there we go. Mr. Anthony. Okay, you fit over there very nicely. Now we have Paulson Lottard, one Star Wars Galaxy 3. Okay. That's for Paulson. And one Battle Styles and one McDonald's. Okay, one Battle Styles. And one McDonald's. We better pick up the pace. We actually, uh, we took so much time looking at those cards. I think we fell pretty far behind there. So let's pick up the pace a little bit. We did the exact same problem with the Galaxy 1 box. Remember that? I noticed we didn't find any really sexy cards so far in Star Wars Galaxy 3. However, those etched cards look super nice. You ready? What is going on here? That guy's got such a freaked up face. So every one of these cards has something on the back you can read. No doubt from another video game. Artwork of Boba Fett. I really like it. They're about to smooch. Um, some kind of Star Wars Trevor. What is going on here even? I've got no clue. From a book maybe? I'm going to assume some of these are from like books. Because I noticed they're taking artworks from books at this point. Battlefront, which gives you Aegis Slash and Urshifu. Dude. And now the Mickey D's. Whoop. Squirtle. Squirtle is a great pull from the McDonald's set. He is a little thin on the left side of the card this time. Okay. That is for Paulson Lotard. What's up, Paulson? Where are the peas? Oh, it's over here. Duh. P-Box feeling kind of full. 
Pablo. Here we are, Mr. Paulson. That's me. Can you move different slabs to the front? I probably could do that. Here are the birds. Smoochum! That's Koro Koro Comics, Smoochum. Fighter Energy. Big Charm. Very charming. And Jungle Pee Pee Chew. Okay, now we have Trent McCulley. I forgot to say I have a bag. Ruben Aguilar says, One Hidden Fates. Ruben, let's see if I need to get a whole new box of... Nope, okay, cool. The current box of Hidden Fates is empty, so I gotta get a whole new box. Whole new case. A whole new case. Man, I need to get a new drink is what I need. I'm so sorry, man. That is cold. You pull a non-hollow Mew. Not the big hit you're hoping for. That's for Ruben Aguilar. Here we are. I was going to say, did we just ship you, Ruben? I couldn't remember. Evan Shea, who says, one Star Wars Galaxy 3 and one Shining Face. All right, you got it. Rip and flip, he doesn't know how to look it up on Google. What? You ready? Rusted sword. Blech. Sorry, man. How about this Star Wars Galaxy for Evan Shea? These are in really nice condition, these booster packs. All right, here we go. So you got the Jawas. A really cool artwork of Luke. What the heck is this? Lucas Arts. The Dark Trooper. The Evil General Moak. Progenitor of the Dark Troopers. What? Okay. What is going on here? Oh, he's getting orders. That's what's going on. Very cool. Uh, this never happened. Yep, that is from a book. So a lot of these are from a book. The Ewok Adventure preliminary poster. Did this just never happen? Oh, the movie aired on TV but was released theatrically overseas. What? I never saw it. I, I have no clue. I have no clue about that. Hmm. Very cool. So that's just a scene from Hoth. All right. We'll go ahead and sleeve those back up. And these will be heading over to Mr. Evan Shea. Mr. Evan Shea, where am I going to find your bag, Evan? Let's see. Oh, we have an e-box. Let's check the e-box. Erky Kierberg. Ankle. Evan Tellez. Evan Shea, do you have a bag? He does not say whether or not he has a bag. I really appreciate it if you guys told me about your bags, okay? When you make your order, it's not really a rule, but if you don't want to, if you don't want me making extra bags for you, out of the blue, you want you want to let me know if you've got a bag. I feel like Evan Shea should have a bag. Evan Shea typically did have a bag. Here it is. Yep, Evan Shea found it. There we go. Now we have Carter Riley, who says two live custom boosters. Mr. Carter, you ready? Carter Riley. Choop, choop, choop. Oh, that's Misty's Tears Vintage. All right. Congratulations. And choop, 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 choop. What's this? Oh, just some cards. Here's a Charizard, AG Slash, 
Rose, Switch, Haunter, and Raichu. Nice, that's like opening up three packs of evolutions. Okay. How nice. That goes to Mr. Carter Riley. Carter with a C. Also, I lost my gecko in the floor. Send me luck. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> You're never finding him again. Oh, wait a second. You wouldn't be in the D box. You'd be in the C box. Carter Riley. Carter, can you give me any details about your bag? Let's take a closer look at that Misty. <laughs> Brandon Christopher. Yeah, this is a cluster, man. We need to create a new system for sure. This can't keep this can't be the way that we do things. This is just terrible. I need a alphabetically ordered in a deeper way. There needs to be an actual A box, an actual B box, an actual C box. But, you know, there actually are three A boxes because so many people have the letter A in their name. It used to be ABC. Carter Riley. Carter says, I do have a bag. Okay, so we're on our way to find it. Took like two seconds to open your packs and a full minute to find your bag. Just can't be that way. The, the problem is I don't know what to do because I don't know where the heck... I'm gonna make up more room on the table. There's just no more room. So I don't really have like a, I don't have some sort of elegant solution. Casey, Christian, Carter, Christopher. Christian Styles, Cole, hmm. Well, 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 mister, is it in the overflow? Would you know? Let's see, we might just create a brand new bag for you right now, just to get the stream moving. That's what we're doing. All right, Mr. Carter, you got two bags. If I find your second bag, we can combine them. I'm thinking maybe like a side table. Side table with like some really long boxes for like overflow bags or something like that. You know what I mean? Or just, I have no clue. Here you go, Carter Riley. There's simply too many bags. I mean, I should know that this would happen if if the channel grows and you get more people opening cards, we would just expect there to be an issue with like having enough room on the table. Have you guys seen the table? There's like five bazillion bags. So it, it works when it's a very small number of people ordering but as we scale up and there's a lot more people, it's, it's starting to become an actual serious issue. Okay, now we've got Jose Hernandez, who says two, chilling rain. What's up, Jose Hernandez? It might be time to move a bunch of inactive people to the other shelf. That's true. So with that idea, the what I'd like to do is have a certain type of storage box that I don't currently have. I need to just, there's always so much I can work on in a day. And usually the first thing I do is work on like shipping and all that kind of stuff, the daily things I have to get done. Actually, you know what I really need is an assistant like crazy. I need an assistant so bad. I was saying that a long time ago that I need an assistant. Mr. Jose, this is too much work for one guy. Jose, you pull two hollows. I'm sorry, mister. Nothing too crazy coming out of there. Mister, are you still on pre-orders? I am not. Fair warning to everyone here tonight. You don't got to ask me if I missed you. I did not. There's very long wait times, okay? Next up, we got Tyler Matson, who says, let's do five packs of Opus 11, Tifa. All right, good luck. Five packs of Tifa. Mister, when's my order? It's going to be a little while. We are very busy tonight. All right, here we go. Do you need a graphic designer as an assistant? Uh, you know, Toro Teal has helped me a little bit with graphic design, but actually there was a pretty important job I was going to ask uh, Toro Teal or maybe someone else to do, and that is to work on the design of the actual label that we would create a template for, and then I'd probably send that template off to uh, a custom paper maker and hope that they could just print a whole bunch of it for me. All right, here we go. Reek Poram 
All right, I'm supposed to keep the cute cards for you, right? So here's Hooded Man, Rare Hollow, and Shiva. All right, there we go, Hooded Man. Oh, wait, am I keeping all the bulk for you? I can't remember now. I think I am. That was the agreement. Here are Cyan and Zack. Yeah, I needed an assistant so bad. I could get so much more done if I didn't have to, like, do shipping every single day. Here's Brawn, Brawn Hero. Man, it's some cool artworks. Crazy. Okay, here's Aiko, Black Mage, Yuke, Alchemist, Yazu, Aiko. Aiko is a common. That's no good. Come on, Tifa. Show me the Tifa. Can I be your secretary? Um, suck. Here's Black Mage and Clavat. Oh my, Garnet, Rude, and Edward. All right, Mister. No crazy pulls here. Have there been a lot of XY Evo orders tonight? Uh, there have not. No. Mister, have we already pulled the Charizard? <laughs> I'll be your assistant. Pay me in Pokemon cards. I'm watching this late, so I don't play. So I don't play with me. What? What? What are we talking about? Okay, Mr. Tyler, I appreciate all these orders. It's a lot of fun, actually, opening all this. And I'm sorry you didn't pull Tifa. Maybe Tifa's in the next pack. Charizard can't tear an ACL. <laughs> Charlie Alisco sent me a bill. Starwin says two Sword and Shield base sets. I'll need a new bag. All right. Two Sword and Shield base set, huh? Where are my base set? I think these are it. One and two. I do my best to keep you entertained. <laughs> Sleep. Oops, I was Charlie. <laughs> Yeah, he sent me a bill. <laughs> that means you were requesting money. Here, take my money and my Pokemons. Aurora Energy, Starwin. That's going to be two cold packs this time. I'm sorry, Starwin. Oops. I've done so. I've done so already a few times today. What? Okay. Starwin, your name looks like a nickname. Kind of interesting. Some people get, like, nickname bags. Christian Whitfield. Christian, you must have waited a while for this. He wants three live boosters, two English team up, five blue sky stream, five EV, one cloud, and two spots in the large. Holy. All right, let's start with those two spots in the large. So I will give you 18 and 19, Mr. Christian Whitfield. Now I'll give you one and two. How about that? There we go. So you got spots one and two. That means 18 and 19 are left. You've got two live custom boosters. Three live custom boosters. Okay, here goes. Choop, choop, choop. Nine tails from uh, Team Up. I almost called it Tag Team. Purloin. And. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, what's this? PSA 9, number 69. Oof. Careful there, mister. You're scaring me. And that is going to be... Okay, that's a real simple word. one. That's the birds. All right. So that's for Christian Whitfield. You also need two of the English team-ups. Let me go grab you those. Okay, two English team up. Five blue sky stream. One, two, three, four, five. Five EV heroes. One, two, three, four, five. And one cloud. Okay, so one of the cloud packs. Do I have any more cloud packs? What do I have under here? 
that's another box of the Tifa stuff. Oh man, I don't have any more cloud packs. I think I sold out. I think what happened was I opened them all. Um, hmm. Hmm. Can I offer you something else? Would you be interested in substituting? I'll start opening all these, okay? I don't have a cloud pack, unfortunately. Let me go. You can give me a Tifa. Okay, give me a second. Let me compare them. Well, the cloud pack's like six bucks and the, the Tifa pack's like a whopping 14 bucks. Let's say the Tifa pack had been like 12 bucks, which is literally twice as much. I probably still would have gone through with it, but the Tifa pack is worth literally more than twice. So maybe I could give you something else. Uh, if you want to think about it for a minute, let me go grab a drink, man. I'm dying of thirst over here. Give me a second, guys. I'm just grabbing a quick drink. I'm dying. much better that was all i could think about was getting a drink okay here i am i'll do a chilling grain all right one chilling grain good choice here it goes good luck he said he wanted a feet reveal huh <laughs> the top of these snape so how's your day guys anything interesting happen to you at work who's got a new job who's ready to quit their job and move on to a fresh new job here it goes mr give me a minute this is christian whitfield right yes christian whitfield mr i ordered two of the cloud packs says mr r and jesus I apologize, Mr. R and Jesus. That's what I forgot to do. Let me go ahead and remove those now. So I accidentally opened all of the cloud packs without knowing it. I thought I still had some over here. Apparently I did not. So I apologize for that. When we get to your turn, I can get you a refund or you can go through with the substitute. I'll swap them with chilling grain, says R and Jesus. Sounds good. So here's a jump pluff. We're going through the blue sky streams first. Toxtricity, cold, cold, and cold. Whew. Woo! All right, some cold blue sky stream. How about these evolutions? All right, we got beautiful, beautiful Sylveon. That helps a little bit. What else? Cold. That's cold. Here's a Vaporeon. So pretty standard pulls from the Eevee heroes. And one more pack. We've got another cold pack. Woo. Oh, man. That's a little bit of a tough round, Mr. Christian. How about the Chilling Rain? Chilling Rain is Hollow sh uh, Shaman. Now team up. Come on, team up. We got Blitzel. Oh, man. <laughs> and Helioptile. Woo! All right. Going deep. Going deep, huh? I am very sorry. Christian has got the toughest luck of tonight so far, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Christian Whitfield goes, oof. Yeah, I don't even have a pity pile. It's the problem. What do we got in the pity pile? No way. I got like one card for you. Here's a Natu. Uh, I can give you some like Star Wars cards. So there's a Natu and some Star Wars cards. Uh, I haven't had any donations to the pity pile in a long time. The Natu is actually mine. I'm just giving him away. 
All right, Mr. Christian Whitfield, let me find your bag. You know, Christian, let me just mention why I think that your pulls were so tough. I think part of the reason why it was so tough was because you pulled a few packs from multiple sets. And the reality is you tend to do better going deep on like one set because you're much more likely to have a chance to pull something like special out of it, you know, like a, you know, like a hot pull. Whereas if you just skim the top of like multiple sets, you're more likely to, to do what you just did where you, you, you kind of like clear a bunch of cold packs. All right, Christian, you do got one slab. I'll go place this to the side. I'm going to have another sip of my drink here. Why am I so thirsty right now? Ooh, cold and refreshing. Okay. I feel like I should explain the math behind that so everyone understands. But let's keep going. So Justice Rodriguez, he says one English team up. One English team up. Two Japanese team ups. Okay. And one evolution. See, he's doing kind of a similar thing. Although I have to say with the evolution packs, it doesn't matter as much because evolution packs have so many different hits. You're bound to just... I think you're bound to get a hit like every couple packs, to tell you the truth. Speaking of which, here is a reverse hollow Mew. Very nice. This is why the Evolution Packs do so well, guys. People, There are people who are like, oh, Evolutions is so overrated. It's like, all right, well, show me another set that's pulling you this, you know? Here's a very gradable Reverse Hollow. Other sets are just not giving you a chance to do that. All right, very nice. That's hot. And now let's go ahead and trim these up. All right. We also pull Tentacool. So that's the team up pack. Oof. Tough luck on the team up pack. English team up is very expensive and so risky, guys. Here's Voltorb. No, Electrode. There we go. That's why I paused. I was like, Voltorb's not right. There's Electrode. All right. Well, you got that lovely Mew out of the Evolutions, Mr. Justice Rodriguez. Justice Rodriguez. Here we are. Nice. It blows my mind that PSA 10 Rainbow Rare Bird is so cheap. I know. A lot of uh, Hidden Fate stuff has gone down in price over time because there's so much of it. Anthony Haymeyer says, pre-grade plus a tip. You can just do the vintage cards for now. I don't want to take up all your time. Thank you. Okay, so I'll be right back, guys. I have been hired to do a pre-grade. He said, just do the vintage cards for now. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so this is what came in. By the way, that looks fine. That looks fine. This is slightly uh, thinner on the top than the bottom. It looked like it had a lip on it, thin on the right. Very thin on the left, thin on the right. All right, so here we are at the vintage cards. Looks pretty good, actually. Uh, so the only way for me to truly grade the vintage cards would be to remove them from all of these protective deck sleeves. Uh, and that is because we need to see if they have print lines. However, that means I'll have to handle them. All right. I don't actually like these these Beckett shields. So that's a Beckett shield and I'm just I'm just saying the obvious here. Compare that to my logo list uh, card grader. Look. The card grader's larger. Uh, and this having it larger is actually an advantage. So this is smaller and uh, harder to push the card in. Uh, with this being so large, the card actually slides right in. And also, you're able to open the mouth larger. So the mouth opens larger because it's a bigger mouth. That's what she said. So 
Yeah, it's pretty worn out. This is going to be like a five. See how that slides in really easy? I, I can almost tell you the Beckett shields aren't doing that because the Beckett shields are too... The Beckett shields are too small. They're like actually pretty close to the edge of the card on all sides. And likely, like, here's another look at it. So uh, the Beckett shield, the opening of the lip on the Beckett shield is about right here. And then... Uh, so compare that to this up here. So they're shorter too. Yeah, I don't like the Beckett shields. The Beckett shields are kind of like Card Saver 1. No, Card Saver 2, I mean. They're like Card Saver 2. You can get by on Card Saver 2. It's just that these big large guys are, uh, they're nicer. All right, here we go. The Blossom, huh? Okay, right off the bat, I feel like I'm seeing something up there. Yeah, you got scratches in there. So this won't grade higher than a nine. There's scratches in it. I mean, it, it's kind of silly to have me pre-grade it for you because if you were to ask me if you should grade it, I would just say yes to every one of these. It doesn't matter what the grade they get. You know what I mean? Like maybe you're trying to pick and choose which ones go first. I don't know. Send out Blastoise first. You know what I mean? Like Blastoise is a little more popular. Uh, here's an example. This Blastoise is unlimited, so maybe not... Maybe don't send him in first, but you just, you know, you could grade all of them. Oh, right, I'm supposed to be judging these. So I'm seeing a dot up here. That's a bad corner. Yeah, your card's got a scratch right there. Uh, so these are scratches that are not print lines from manufacturing. It's obvious to me that these were part of someone's collection a long time ago, and they received scratches when they were handled. Okay, here's your Gyarados. Your Gyarados has a white dot here. He's got bad corner here, and he's thin on this corner down here. So he won't be any better than a, probably a nine or an eight. He's base set two. So he he really won't be worth too much, this Gyarados. Base set two is not popular. Here, let me just try and eliminate these without taking them out. All right, but this one will come out because I like the back of it. I like what I'm seeing on the back. He is a bit off-center down here, though, on this side. So, last issue. Yeah, he's got scratches on him. So, if these all have scratches, I mean, I can tell you right now, these are these are going to grade probably below 9. They're probably going to be like 8. He had, like, multiple scratches. Uh, this is definitely thin right here. Yeah. Let's see if I can see... He's definitely scratched. I can see it. So he's scratched. This one's got a worn edge. It's got a worn edge over here, too. I don't know how well you guys can see that. He might get a nine. A big white dot over here. And white dot down there. So that's probably like a 9 or an 8. Machamp. Man, he's so rare. Yeah, these are all near mint. These are all worn. Same deal. I'm seeing a little white dot down there. He's unlimited. So this really won't be worth very much at all. He's just an unlimited Dark Doug Trio. He's got like 20 print lines in him too. Look at those print lines. <laughs> he's in pretty bad shape, the Doug Trio. I'll put him back in your Becky Shield. Yeah, I don't like the Becky Shield as much, for sure. For sure. Let's see. He's got a little edge down there that's not looking so good. So he's like a 9 or an 8. Yep. See that right there? Dark Magneton. You can tell he's real scratched. All kinds of white nicks up there. See that? So what you have here, uh, so far, not a single one of these has a shot at a 10. Maybe that's what you're asking for. Maybe you wanted me to tell you if it's got a shot for a 10. Oh, nope. See, the moment I take that out, you can see the print lines right there running across. So he's got no shot at a 10. Dude, I don't like it. Hard to actually put the card in without putting pressure on the top of the card. But these, these larger... 
these card graders that I used to sell, they're so much larger, the card slides in very easily. White dot down there, he's got no chance. White dot up here. Ancient Muse, are these the uh, remakes or the actual ancient ones? Way off center, you can kind of see it. So that's way off center. I'll donate the Ducktrail, Moltres, both Magnetons, and Machamp to Pity Pile. Oh, don't send them to the Pity Pile. Um, no, don't do that. Uh, you could sell them to me. Or let me think about it. That That's too expensive to go to the Pity Pile, don't you think? All right, so that is a bumped edge. Uh, if they went to the Pity Pile, what I would like to do is just give one to Mr. Christian Whitfield. He's had the worst luck tonight. Which cards are you donating? I don't remember. The Dark Duck Tree or something? The Dark Duck Trio, the Magnetons. I think that's what he said. Duck Trio, Moltres, both Magnetons. Really? The Moltres? No, you should keep the Moltres. Your Moltres is valuable. This is a chase pull. So Rocket Moltres is kind of like a Charizard over here. Okay, so keep him. Um, I can understand these a little more. So these cards right here are definitely not as valuable in the sets that they come from. Uh, so I can understand donating these. Yeah, you should keep the Moltres. He's actually pretty expensive. If, if he can grade well, too. Like, let's say you don't get an 8 and you get a 9. I mean, that's a solid solid flip there on that card. And then you sell that and get the card that you want, right? So here we are. Most expensive card is this Blastoise, by the way. Um, second most expensive. Pretty hard to say, actually. They're all kind of like in the $100 range. If they grade, if you get them graded, they're all in the $100 range. Sub-100, I mean. Uh, probably Dark Blastoise and Blossom. So these three are the most valuable here out of all the vintage cards. There you go, Mr. Haymeyer. Machamp. Oh, he said Machamp as well. Yeah, Machamp's understandable. He really does not hold much value because there's too many of them. Especially, that's the unlimited Machamp. He's not even the shadowless one. And uh, we looked at these... What else do you send over here? I can already tell you this looks a little off-center. So if you're sending these to CGC, these will get killed for being off-center right away. That one looks pretty good. Dark uh, Galarian Slowbro, huh? You're a Galarian Slowbro fan. Vegeta, Goku, and Piccolo. Very cool, man. Thank you, Mr. Anthony Haymar. Let's keep moving, guys. There are people who are probably going to have to wait over an hour to get their packs open at this point they're probably tapping their foot going i gotta go to bed let me have another sip of my drink holy heck one garcia one live booster here goes chuk, chuk, chuk. rillaboom i'm sorry mr garcia that is a tough pull by the way, do you have a bag? Yes. How's it going, Ad Adnet? Is it Adnet? Richard Vasquez, one EV Heroes. I have a bag. Hello, Richard. Richard Vasquez. Why don't you make a giveaway? Oh man, I'll do it just because you asked. That's cold, Mr. Richard Vasquez. We have Andrew Keating. This is my first time ordering. Can I get three packs of EV Heroes? Why, yes. Yes, you can. Here you go. And one pack of the NBA Prism. Sounds good. EV Heroes and, and NBA Prism. What? Sleep. So this is for Andrew Keating. Sorry for the long wait, Andrew. Here's Entei. Cold. And Grimmel Snarl. All right. Two hollows. That's what everyone's looking for. How about this NBA Prism pack? You ready? So we've got Aaron Baines. Norman Powell. Oh, what's this? Chrome Zion Williamson. Very nice. All right. And Kendrick Nunn. That's a decent pack, right? <laughs> it says Wakanda forever.
Where's the NBA Charizard? I know, right? So that's... Oh, I hate this song. Give me a minute. Let me go ahead and reset this music. There we go. The Zion is worth about 40 bucks. Nice. Well, you know that means he's worth more than that after finishing grading. Give me a minute. Make sure I spell your name right. The Zion is a decent pool. That's what I'm thinking. Andrew, since you're new, I want to remind you, in order to get shipped, you need to place a request in the Please Ship channel in our Discord. You just go right over to that channel and say, hey, please ship my bag. My name is Andrew Keating. And that's all there is to it. You can also do paid shipping if you want to ship out in the same day. So we've got Scott Stewart who says, two Opus 4, two Lost Thunder, remove the Junk Hollows, besides Scissor and Gengar. You got it. Mr. Scott, were you the guy who said to change that over to two packs of Chilling Grain? All right, here we go. Sleep. The Lost Thunders? That's Raikou. Oh, man, you should keep that. Okay, and... Cold! Woo! Yes, that was me. All right, so we've got your two Chilling Rain. You know, you said to donate the Hollow, but the Raikou Hollow is actually pretty cool. What's up, James O? How's it going? Okay, we've got Venipede. Zebra Striker and Grappleocked. <laughs> Just straight cold pulls, mister. And I'm sorry that the cloud packs were all gone. I noticed you guys don't give the lightning packs a chance. You ought to give the lightning packs a chance. Hey, love your videos. Keep up the great work. Oh, thanks, man. This is my pokey therapy. <laughs> Scott Stewart. There's Scott Stewart. Cold pulls and hot takes. That's true. Speaking of hot takes, I was watching another episode of that 1970s TV show, Little House on the Prairie, with my wife who likes to imagine that she's from the 1970s. And uh, they had an episode called Quarantine, and it was all about their little village going into lockdown because there was like a virus going around. It was so fucking relevant, it's so funny. I couldn't believe it. I was looking at my wife, I was like, I cannot believe how relevant this TV show is from 30 years or 50 years ago. Okay, Chris, Chris Kiovankot, I think I said that right, Kiovankot, he says 20 EV heroes and two custom boosters. You got it, Mr. Chris. Good luck. 20 of them. Yeah, there was an episode called Quarantine. And, you know, it was written in the 1970s. It's all about a virus going around, killing people. And they're, like, shutting down. And it was all about how they were not making very smart uh, choices on how to go into lockdown. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Like some of them didn't understand how the virus worked. So they were getting caught by it and it was making them, making them ill. So they just didn't understand how diseases worked back then. They didn't know how diseases worked. So they would like be drinking out of the same cup as the sick person was and then catching the illness, right? Really funny. Whoever <laughs> smelt it, dealt it one, two, three, four. Okay, that's 20 packs of EV heroes. Hey, that's a pretty large order, man. For Mr. Chris. Chris K, is this your first order? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. They went into lockdown and everyone was like, oh, I don't want to be in lockdown. You know, everyone was upset because they wanted to go out. It was, it was so, like, relatable. And then there were people who, were, you know, they just didn't understand you needed to stay away from each other. So they're like, well, I'm going to go hang out with my friends. And, you know, and then the virus would spread because you hang out with your friends. <laughs> I was like, man, ahead of his time. Sleep. 
Is there going to be an alt card among the packs? Hopefully. Let me take one more sip. Seems pretty sus. That's right. All right, here it is. What am I sipping? I'm sipping on some cold ass Sprite Zero. Okay, there's Umbreon V. Cold. Cold. Here's Florges. Here's Jolteon. Ooh. Zip, zip, zip. <laughs> Want some muck? Oh my god. Okay, cold. Should be one of my titles one day. Should just be Got Muck. Cold. Here's Swampert. Cold. It should be me holding up a muck card with a sus white sticky liquid on the card. And it should just say got muck. Oh, look at this Leafeon. Wonderful Leafeon full art. Here's Raichu. Lovely. Cold. It was a ghost. Ectoplasm. <laughs> Except from South Park. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> I'm going California way to get some internet. Espeon! Look at this Espeon. Scary movie? I watched all the scary movies. Cold. It was a spooky ghost. Look at this Leafeon. You got two of them. He's smoking too much pot. You know Leafeon's got that good cush. Here's Jolteon again as well. And Flourges again. All right, mister, you got lots of E's and lots of Emaxes. No alternative arts. Now you also need two live custom bloosters. Here it goes. Chup, chup, chup. Coughing. He's just going around making a little stink. And chup, 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 chup. Rillaboom. Ah! I'm so sorry, Chris. No crazy round for you that time. All right. But I tell you what, um, we have this lovely Machamp from your good friend, uh, Mr. Haymire. Is it Haymire? All right. I'm going to toss this Becky shield away. So, Chris, do you need a new bag? Chris, Chris, you sound like you're a new bag guy. Chris Kiovankat. I'm new. Nice to meet you, new. I'm dad. All right, Chris. That was a big order, Chris. Chris Kyo Vong Cut. Sweet. We have room down here. We do have room down here. Okay, cool. Tyler Matson returns. Let's do two live custom bloosters. You got it. Choop, 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 choop. That is, in fact, a snipe. PSA 9, 205, and Tropius. All right, let's find out what this is all about. Oh, number 205. Tyler. How far am I in the line? Apparently really far, man. It's a busy night. Here he is, Foratris. He's got his little guns. Very nice. That's from Neo Discovery. Now we have Charlie Alisco. Hi, I did my first order wrong. I'm requesting an opening of Shiny Star V and an Evolutions Pack. Also on YouTube, my name is Audra Alisco. Hello, Audra Alisco. So we have one Shiny Star for you. 
and one lovely Evolutions booster pack. All right, Shiny Star Evolutions. Sneep. That's a spooky fortress. I'm spooked. Ghastly Magnemite Seal Pokédex. That's going to be kind of a cold round of evolutions. Freaking Pokédex, dude. How about this Shiny Stars, though? You got Cinderace Code Card. Okay. You got Amazing Rare Kyogre. Ooh. Okay, so that's not so bad. That's your first order, huh? Now, remember, in order to get shipped, you need to head over to the Discord server and make a post in the Police Ship channel. Of course, you don't have to do that right away. You do it when you feel like getting shipped out. So you can store your bag over here for a while and uh, fill it up with your poles and have them all shipped together. That's the whole way it works. And then when you do request shipping in the Police Ship channel, there is always about a week-long wait. So you have to understand that. Make sure everyone has the same expectations. There's about a week-long wait when you make a request to ship out, okay? Now we have Andrew Martinez. Two more live custom bloosters. Oh, Andrew, I think you just missed. There's a hollow Typhlosion, who looks really nice, and a Choodle. So I'm afraid you just missed the choo-choo train on that one, Mr. Andrew. Andrew had crazy luck the other night. There you go. Now, Andrew Martinez, where can I expect to find your bag? He says, I have a small bag. Okay, let's go looking for a small bag. Mm -hmm. Armando, Azusa, Anthony, you're not in here. I said, keep the hollows. Cheese it. Thank you so much, Andrew, saving me some time. Alex PSX, five live custom bloosters. Well, 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 Mr. Alex. It appears to now be your turn. Here is a fighter energy. That is vintage jungle ride on. Wheezing. Boss's orders. Whoop. And Deontay. One, two, three, four, five. Woo, Mr. Alex. I'm very sorry, Mr. Alex. Easy Alex sweep. That is an easy Alex sweep. You picked up Jungle Ride On. That's kind of cool. F in the chat for... Oh, wait. We got these pity pulls. Let's give him a Dark Magneton. Here you go. This is from Mr. Haymeyer. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Haymeyer. Cold, five cold packs in a row. I think that should trigger a pity pull. What do you think? Yay! Team Rocket Grunt says two live custom boosters. Mister, and keep the hollows. All right, this is for Team Rocket Grunt. Choop, choop, choop. It's Crocodile. And choop, choop, choop. Oh, look, it's the hit. PSA 10, number 226 for Team Rocket Grunt. Holy moly. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Alex. Alex, that is just how it worked out. Did you all like order in the same minute? No, no, he ordered this three minutes after you. It's, it's fun to see that you guys order like in the same minute sometimes and one guy gets in, one guy doesn't. But he actually ordered this three minutes later. That's a big hit for you, Team Rocket Grunt. It is Mega Sableye and Tyranitar from Unified Minds. Pretty fancy card. Son of a bleep -lop. Now we have Eric Lovato, who says, Hey, Mester, let me get two lives. Remember, we agreed 20 store credit. Would you be willing to trade me your Dark Alkazam or Toto Da Slap? Uh, Eric Lovato, what did we agree to on, on Discord? Let me see if I can look it up. Here it is, Lovato. Oh, I, I see. All right, here you go, Mr. Eric Lovato. Actually, that's really tough timing, Mr. Eric. Oh, but what's this? 
Oh, look, it's a Dragapult VMAX. That's not so bad. Boop. You also get... Oh, what is this? Butterfree VMAX. Hey, that's kind of nice. That's okay. Alright, so you walk away with Dragapult and Butterfree VMAX. That's for Eric Lovato with an E. Here it is, Eric. I was talking about the Nido King. What? Do you owe me a Nido King now? He says, Would you be willing to trade me your Dark Alakazam or Toto Dial Slab? Oh, for the Nido King. Um, hmm. Not the Toto Dial Slab. We could do the Dark Alakazam Slab if you're interested in it. Wait, I already shipped all your cards, man. All your slabs are on the way right now, I'm pretty sure. Shout out my boy unknown, it would mean a what? Oh God, it's so good. He says, I got one last night. Okay, give me a minute. Eric Lovato. So you did. And you wanted the dark Alakazam, huh? Let me make sure that we understand what we're talking about here. You want this dark Alakazam. Okay. I'll do it. Sweet. Next up, we got Efrain Rodriguez. It's Erod. Can I get three Shining Face and live shipping? I have one PSA card and booster under Erod. Mr. Erod, I would be very happy to do that for you. Let's go ahead and get these Shining Face. How's it going, Mr. Erod? All right, here goes. Sneep. Do you have a bag over here? Sneep. I never played Monster Hunter on the PSP. Unfortunately, the Celebi's way off center. Oh, but here's a shiny Senna Scorch. I do, but it's been a couple months since I last ordered. Okay, so we'll go looking for it. Thank you for letting me know that that helps. And Dartrix, nice man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How many uh, subscribers do you think I had back when you last ordered? I think we got a few more now. Edgar, Ernesto, Eric Shives, Emily, Efrain Rodriguez. He's right here. Wow, that's an old bag, man. Just been waiting to go out. You want to see what was in it? Let's see what was in it. So you got Crobat, Pokemon Breeder, some Shining Legends Hollows, I presume, and this Flash Fire Booster Pack. Remember Flash Fire, guys? Woo! That was a while ago. Old times. So, Mr. Crap, you got four times my subscribers now. What? Mr. Ephraim. Yep, okay, so I've still got your address that begins with 1-4, okay, Mr. Erod? I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And how many of those big ass slabs did you have? I tell you what, I'll just set this to the max number of. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let me just set this all the way up to 15 ounces. And we'll click print. All right. 
Mistra has 0 0.25. That's right. So. All right. So I've created your label and I wrote some notes to myself on it. And now you are going out. Excellent. Can you give a shout out to my baby mama, Lakeisha and Tanisha? Hell yeah. It's the Hoochie Mamas. We got Connor Gillespie, two chilling rain, one fork night pack. You got it, one fork night. Would you accept Evolving Sky pre-orders? I would not. All right, let's get that Fortnite. Unless you want to pre-order them from me for like $20 a pack, then yeah. What currency are these prices in? A uh, USD. Sneep. One pack for 10 packs. That's right. Would you accept 50th anniversary pack pre-orders? Uh, yes. <laughs> Write the check out too. <laughs> so here we go. We got Peony. Oop. Not to be confused with Pianya. Here's Ghastly. So those were pretty cold, Mr. Connor Gillespie. But how about these Fortnite cards? You're looking like a sussy over there. Have you got my Fortnite cards? Not a hollow, I'm afraid. Lots of waifus in here. All right, no holographic legendary. That's what you're looking for. Because believe it or not, those actually go for some serious cash. Cool. Connor Gillespie. Where did I put a Mr. Connor Gillespie? Must have just been over here, huh? I forgot to put in my last order. Can you cut like five packs of Fortnite for me in honor of my true love? The MLB, MLP packs. All right, I'll go do it. I want to buy the Pokemon Center Eevee box, the Special Espeon. Do you sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Yes, we have King's Court Yu-Gi-Oh cards available right now. And we got one pack, one pack of Maximum Gold, and then we're sold out. But I have a fresh case of Maximum Gold coming as well. Fresh case. Nicholas Craglow. Five Eevee heroes. This is my first ever order, so I'll need a bag. Sounds good, Mr. Nicholas Craglow. One, two, three, four, five. How to order your Pokemon cards. Uh, there is some instructions in the description, okay? No more Fortnite. That's right. <laughs> oh! It's Secret Rare Jolteon. Congratulations. Look at that. He got that on his first order. How nice. Not everyone has that much luck on their first order, but you certainly did. Cold. And one Grimmel Snarl. Got to use a Carrier Pigeon. That's right. I only accept Carrier Pigeon and Golden Coin. Gold and Silver. I hate this stupid song. Make me listen to that song one more time. What did it do? I clicked back. And it took me to my own YouTube channel. What the? What is going on? <laughs> Why would it do that? All right, give me a minute. Who's this guy that's live? TCC? Weird. Weird. What do we got? One hour relaxing Yoshi music. Let's click on that one. Okay, so Mr. Nicholas Craglow, you're getting a fresh bag and going into the end box. You've got the end box pass. Super Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine's okay. I feel like only one or two songs in that whole list of OST is actually very good. There we go. <laughs> he's such a babe. Wow. Blush. All right, and now we're refreshing. Let's 
So many cards in that box, man. My man will buy me Cherizards. That's right. Where's my Cherizards? Can I shuffle the slabs? I, I'm sure I could. Here's a Galarian Perzerker. Golden. Articuno! Kaka! Rockets Moltres, first edition. And the Gonadel 10. Well, here, I'll put these right behind it. Naganadel 10 from Unified Minds. Ooh. Well, it's been a busy night. What the hell? There must have been so many orders. That or everyone was going deep. All right, so deeper than usual. Demetrius Gizas. Uh, yes, so he has put in a huge order. He says, I want a full case of Chilling Rain. I think he means a full box. A full case would cost more than that. Yeah, it would. <laughs> he means a whole box. No, no, no. He didn't order an actual case. Although, if he had, I would have been able... I do have enough boxes for somebody to order a whole case. So... He meant a full box, and then he orders 13 live custom boosters. You got it. 13 live custom boosters for Demetrios. Here it goes. A full pallet. My BFF, Mary. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, <laughs> too large. Five. Six, seven, eight. I call this the anal beads onyx. Wait, where were we on? Eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, thank Lord. Thank the Lord. So, it's kind of like just buying slabs for me, to be honest, but that, and you also got the two large spots now, and I guess you got that Q-bone. The Q-bone's kind of nice. So, we're going to place your two large in here, Mr. Demetrios. The large is ready to activate. Activate. Uh, let's go ahead and find out what, was the, what these two slabs were. So, we got PSA 6, number 12. And PSA 9, number 57. They're decent. Yeah, I like them. Okay, are you ready? So you've got Rockets Moltres 6. That's Holographic Rocket Moltres. And first edition Cyndaquil from Neo Genesis, right? Yeah, Neo Genesis. But he's only PSA 9. He's not PSA 10. Pretty solid card, in my opinion. He's like the Charmander, right? He's the Charmander of Gen 2. You also pick up some holographic cards. Uh, primarily this Cubone, though. Do you notice the Cubone is kind of nice? That's Jungle Cubone. Very cute. Okay, I say before we open his box of Chilling Rain, we go ahead and... We run the large custom because it's such a big deal. Okay, one of these packs has the large custom. Uh, it has the gym challenge booster. That's what I'm trying to say. Let me make sure these are all sold out, right? Yep. Okay, here goes. So I'll try to make room so you can actually see the shuffle. Dump Mary. Mary, you good? Oops. What are you guys talking about? Nothing Nutella won't fix. What? Dude, Nutella's so bad for you guys. 
Nutella is like pure fattening paste. All right, can I get a number? Can I be your rebound? Oh my God. Jack Andrew says eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and invert it. All right. And now we're ready to go. In spots one and two, we have Christian Whitfield. Cold. Cold. Sorry, Christian. Ivan Ski on three and four. Sorry, Ivan Ski. YT Products on five and six. Sorry, YT Products. Eric Lovato on seven. Eight. And nine. There we go, Mr. Eric Lovato with three spots, huh? Let's do a quick recount. Mr. Eric. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In fact, we were on spot number nine, apparently, and that was his. Woo! Eric Lovato. Mr. Eric. That concludes another round of the large challenge, large custom. What am I saying? And you take spot number 14. Eric, are you on this list before then? You are not. So this is your one spot, huh? There you go, Mr. Eric. Ooh. Oops. I apologize to everyone else who, in fact, did not pull the Gym Challenge Booster Pack. It's a very scary booster pack to buy, one of the large. And now you know why. Eric had three spots, man. <laughs> That's the large. High risk, high return. All right, Mr. Demetrius, are you ready for your whole box of chilling rain? Holy. This is for Demetrius. He's ready to open some pokey fire. All right. One whole booster box for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, it was lucky that you bought 13 of those live customs. If you had bought 12, you'd have missed the next uh, slab, if you think about it. That's the problem with going so deep. You can mind sweep like five packs for someone else when you go deep. All right, we are ready to go for Mr. Demetrius. We've got Cello BV right off the bat. Very nice. So this would have been considered a secret rare in the Japanese box. And I consider this full art a uh, pretty good pull in the English set. Okay, and now we go down the pile. Here's Snova Cresselia. Sobble. Sloppy Toe with Sloppy Joe. <laughs> what? Here's cast form. <laughs> Sandaconda, trust in me. He looks just like this snake from Jungle Book. Okay, there we go. Sarud and Weeding Gloves. Drizzle. Chrysalio. Bon Sweet, Rune Rigis, Cast Form. Oops, I want to drop that. Raboot, 
Swirlix. Clobopus and Articuno. Kaka! Does chat like the Pornhub comment section? My 12 kids watched this stream. 12 kids? Blitzel. Crushing Gloves. And Caitlyn Rainbow Rare. Ah! So nice, mister. Take a look at that. She's just waking up from a nap. Caitlyn. Ah, oh, but look, you don't get to see her feet. That's okay. You don't even get to see her feet, huh? I don't know. Return the card. I'm just joking. I don't understand the obsession with women's feet. I mean, I don't have a problem with them, but they were never, like, sexual to me. You know, they're just feet, guys. Like, you walk with them. Mr. Ha do you have a thing for feet? I do not, but I'll pretend that I do if it's more entertaining. Man. Mary, buy me pokies, too. Your next pulls are cold and out. Feet smell. Yeah, you just walk on them. Next thing is, next hot thing is going to be women's elbows. Oh, man, have you seen her elbow? Holy. Feet are nasty. People should be born with permanent socks on. Well, feet aren't nasty. That's going too far. Sneep. But they're just feet, you know? They're not like... You know what I mean? It's weird. <laughs> Sneep. Post your feet to wiki feet. Sneep. So weird. I wouldn't mind getting kicked. Derek is my lily nearby. Uh, I would have to stand up in order to get it. So that would be improbable because I have so many pokey cards to open. Here it goes. Oh, man, it's Malamar. Whoa. That's so many Pokemons. Zangoose. Here's Porygon Blaziken. Look at this Blaziken. There we go, Blaziken. Here's Karen's Conviction. Snow Runt, he's just a little runt. Here's Lichen Rock and Deerling. Certain feet are gross, certain feet are hot. Yeah, like those those gross feet where the middle toe is longer than the big toe. Ugh. Oh, gross, man. I'm just kidding. I got toes like that. So what do we got here? We got Rock Ruff. I got those toes myself. Zerora! Holy. Mr. Feeder, PSA 10. How does my boy unknown become a mod? Mr. already sold you Lily. Here's Zerora. Here's Inke. I got toes like that too, mister. Hey, see, we're from the same genetic family tree. Probably accurate. Here's Aaron. Isn't it weird? If you guys think about it, I said in it. Oh, no. Isn't it weird? If you go back far enough in family trees, we're all basically related. That's weird. I mean, if you think about it for a little while. Volcarona. We are all actually related. We're on the same family tree. You just got to go back far enough. Here's Flaffy. Stepsis. Might as well just call her sis at this point. Here's Flannery and the lovely Galarian Slowking artwork. I really like this one. I think that one should be graded. Of course, it won't be considerably rare, but yeah, it's a nice card. I think a lot of people will own that one. Probably the best V card of that sort of like V card set. Okay, there we go. Mr. Demetrius, you have a ton of holographic cards. Let's see, you should have a bag. Caden Wolf, I think this might be you right here. Demetrius, you've got this huge bag, and you're going to take on a second bag now. I feel like we should get you shipped out. Would you be interested in being shipped out, Mr. Demetrius? you got so many cards over here. You could be enjoying them at your place. Who wants to get KFC? KFC? Read the chat. What? Okay, so we'll write Demetrius down here. In the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. 
in the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. Boop. All right. Cyndaquil Rocket Moltres. Hot mama. What you mama? That's the end of Mr. Demetrius's turn. I know it took a while, but it was a really large order. Now we have Mr. Jacob Thomas, who wants a 2015 Dragon Ball Z and one Evolutions. Oh, excellent. I had one more Evolutions. Here we go. Ha-ha! There we go. I mean, if you think about Mr. How did a single cell organism multiply? That's a good question. So here's adoptive father, son, Gohan. All right, very nice. So there's adoptive father, son. What's a father, father, son? So with these packs, the Dragon Ball Z from 2015, not every pack gets to have a hollow card. So if you pull one, that's special. And look at you, mister, pulling a rare holographic energized strike. Um, that looks a little sus. That looks a little sus. Energized strike, huh? Um, Mom! That's for Jacob Thomas. Mr. Jacob. What are you doing, adopted father, son? <laughs> James. Here we are, Jacob Thomas. Great pull. He getting pumped. Energize these nuts. Energize both of us. Both of what? Both of these nuts. Oh man, I'm out of my drink. You know what I ate before we started? I ate ramen noodles. That's right. Here's a lovely Giratina holographic PSA 10 from Unified Minds. That is an exceptional looking holographic card. Have you guys seen this artwork? Come on, that's like one of the best Giratina artworks out there. Oh wait, I gotta flip this one too. All right, there we go. Who's next? Uriel, one Opus 11, bag in the Z-Box. You got it, mister. Oh, Tifa. Oh, look, it's Tifa. We love the Tifa Final Fantasy packs. All the Final Fantasy packs are decent, but we definitely want to pull a Tifa, don't we? She got Tifa. White Mage, that's racist. Black Waltz, Mena. Tom, Betty, Bobby, Garnet. Yoraleska! It's Hoochie Mama. Oh, Lordy. All right, you got it, Mr. Garnet. So that goes to Mr. Uriel. Oops. Looks like I grabbed two bags here. Zachary Weisinger. I'll put Zachary back in. There we go. Uriel, you got a pretty large bag, man. Luckily, there's not too much competition in the Z-Box. Not a lot of people ordering over there. Adam Smith. He says, famous economist here. That's right. The father of economics, Adam Smith. Three Blue Sky Stream and one McDonald's. Rub the packs in your beard for good luck. Oh, he thinks I still have a beard. <laughs> so, three Blue Sky Stream, one Mickey D's. Here we are, one McDonald's. Throw that away. Good luck. Hungry now. Dude, I haven't had McDonald's since I moved out here to Lake of the Ozarks. Like, not even once. Because there is no McDonald's out here. We have, like, we have Sonic, but even that's kind of a long drive. And you can't door dash it. And I don't really like Sonics. It's just kind of like Sonics, you know what I mean? Triple cold blue sky stream. Woo! That's for Adam Smith. How about this McDonald's, though? 
Rowlet. Oh, very nice, mister. Did you hear they cut out a couple of evolution cards from the English set? Yeah, I did hear about that, but there's speculation that they'll show up as uh, promos, which is probably right. They probably will. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing this for a little while, and that's exactly what happens. They get cut, and then they get added as promos for, like, power collection boxes and shit like that. Okay, not in there. Do, 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 do. Listen to this music, man. <laughs> Anthony Adam Smith. Here we are. Bro, the apple pie McFlurry from McDonald's. McNuggets are unbeatable. He ain't my husband anymore, you dumb. Yeah, that's right, dumb. Get him, Mary. Tell him he's dumb. Jacob Thomas says, one Opus 5 Lightning. I have two bags. Name's Jacob Thomas. You got about it. So, he is opening up one of these. These are the Lightning Packs. And I don't even remember everything you can pull from a Lightning Pack. Because it's been a while. Alright. Although, I'm pretty confident you can pull Lightning. Ranger, Botanist, Orator... Trickster, Miner, Black Knight Rare, Gabranth, Mutsuki, Arya, and Luge. Sounds a little gay to me. Black Knight. Hey, that's racist. Hmm. These Final Fantasy cards do not slide into the deck sleeves very well. So we're not going to use deck sleeves with them, which is the, what I concluded last time. So Jacob Thomas, here's your bag. Congratulations on your black knight. He's very black. I have a friend that's going to Lake of the Ozarks this week. She's renting out an Airbnb on the lake. I told her to look out for TCC. She probably won't run into me. So Lake of the Ozarks itself is already pretty out in the middle of nowhere in Missouri. And then even amongst that, I've, I've got like one of the most middle of nowhere houses you can get in the lake of the ozark so we're really just out here in the sticks you gotta drive past trailer homes to get to my house it's wild next up we got ruben aguilar one hidden fates for mr ruben we're really out there look at this hidden fates now the cool thing is we're all connected by the lake so when i get on the lake oh there's like boats for days there's like so many boats going by Oh, you got something. Naganadel, shiny Naganadel. But you know what? It looks really nice. You're way south of me, mister. Mister, is your name Sue? <laughs> oh, I got to ask my wife that one. I actually got my wife with the uh, Bofa. I got my wife with the Bofa. I was like, have you heard of Bofa? And she's like, Bofa. I'm like, Bofa, these nuts. Yeah, she was dying. Sue Cond, huh? <laughs> I, I feel like if I try that one on her, she's going to catch on too easily. Sukond. What about up, dog? What's up, dog? Next up, we've got Guadalupe Rocho. He wants the legendary birds. The tale of the legendary birds. They seemed kind of uh, kind of cheap, didn't they? I thought they felt cheap. There you go. Mistress Neighbors Collect Mezu. Bloody Autotune says two hidden fates, new bag. Oh no. Oh no, I've only got one hidden fates. So I will now have to go get a fresh case of hidden fates. I'll be right back. What have you done to me? Making me stand up? I don't know about that, mister. Maybe I'll go get another drink. A nice fresh case of a hidden face. That's right. Only the good stuff. All right. 
right. What's a slugma? Slug my balls. Slug my balls, mister. Slug my pokey balls. Oh, this case is one open. Any older Mewtwo slabs for sale? Is this Jaguar in disguise? I think it's Jaguar on his alt account. Don't try to trick me, mister. I feel like Mary is more alpha than anyone in here. Donda. Elon is our generation mega brain. Everyone trying to suck Elon's dick, man. All right, there we go. Suck on these nuts. Hey, Elon did something right to be as rich as he is. That's right. I want to be just like Elon one day. Okay, so here we go. You got two packs now. And these go back up top. So this is for Mr. Bloody Autotune Store. You need a new bag, don't you? Yes, new bag. Sneep. Mister, what are your thoughts on that new crypto regulation? Uh, I didn't even hear about it. New crypto regulation. Here's Paris Vaporeon. Why don't you enlighten us and tell us what it was all about? Magnemite and Gyarados. All right. News update. Harry dodging me like Harry dodged Voldemort. What? I'm a chubby chaser. I got down like that? What? Okay, that's for Mr. Bloody Out of Tune. I like your new Magnemite. Mr., I'll slug you for the PSA card. Please, 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 please. Oh, I think you meant Slugma. <laughs> there we go. Who would imagine Pokemon made? Bloody auto tune store. I think bloody auto tune is enough. There we go. Anthony Perez says this is for the extra Galaxy Series 3 you grabbed accidentally from my earlier order. I'm AJ Perez in the chat. Apologies for I grabbed too many of them. Mr. R. Anthony Perez, that is very kind of you. Uh, maybe that's the good karma coming back around to me because you got two of those full arts, man, and I am jealous. Government trying to tax it like a stock. Is that good? Is that bad? Snorlax, she's gaped. Oh, my God. So we have Theo Lang, who wants five XY evolutions. You got it, Mr. Theo Lang. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go, sneep. And sneep. And finally, how about a little sneep? I want to create an OnlyFans for you, Snorlax, just so you can go post it. What? Mr. Theo Lang taking a big risk on evolutions. What do we got? Dodo Arcanine. I saw that red, I thought, oh my God, this is it. Dodo was a bit thin on the bottom, so he's not a candidate for grading. What is your only fans? <laughs> a Magikarp, Nidorino, and Flying Pee Pee Chew. All right, very good. How many packs are there in Evos? I think there's 20 in a kilo. 20 per kilo. That Nidorino's looking well-centered, so he might be a candidate for grading. 
Machoke me, daddy. How many Arcanines are we going to pull? We've pulled like four Arcanines in a row. I'm telling you, that's machine sorting. So you got the Machoke me, daddy. Okay, we got Pikachu non-hollow. Nidoran. Nidoran is well-centered. Very good. And finally... Switch. Ah, oh, man. That is not the Pokemon you were hoping to pull. Sorry, Mr. Theo Lang. No crazy cards in your five packs. I'm calling Pokemon. Toss this over here. So, Theo Lang. We've got Machoke Me Daddy, Nidorino, Flying Pikachu, which is probably your best pull right now. These three right here might be gradable, but they are not going to fetch you a lot of money if they do grade 10 because they are merely commons and uncommons. But who knows? Maybe somebody will buy them. There's actually not a lot of people grading them is what I suspect. So if you don't have a lot of competition, you might be able to ask a lot. Okay, Theo Lang, let's see what you got. Thomas Glucksman. Gluck. Were you up top, Mr. Theo? I feel like you were in up top bag. Can I keep any on all Charmeleons and Charmanders? Did, uh, I don't know if I missed any Charmeleons. Here we are, Mr. Theo Lang. Boop. Mr. Did you ever cheat in college? Like on the work? Oh yeah, all the time, actually. It, it, when it comes to computer science, here. When it comes to computer science, a lot of the problems you're tasked with solving, it's, it's a really interesting kind of problem because it's like you either know it or you don't know it. There's no kind of like struggle to know it, you know, like, okay, I'm discovering it. It's just like, bam, you've got all the information you need. You know, it's like one line of code is all you need to make it all work. And so if you could just get another computer scientist uh, a student to come over and just fix your code for you, you're done. You could, and, and the reason that's a big deal is because you could spend like 20 hours trying to solve this program that you're working on or have somebody who's already finished it explain it to you in like half an hour. You know what I mean? He could be like, oh yeah, here it is. Blah, 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 you know, like just like that. So uh, one of the things that we really specialized in in the computer science club, which remember I was the president of that, right? So I became president of computer science club for like two years while that, when I was in school. One of the things we specialed on, uh, specialized in was, uh, what was I going to say? Tutoring, right? Tutoring. And the professors actually didn't like me for that. The computer science professors, one in particular, his name was Professor Blythe. He didn't like me for that because we would actually basically help any computer. If you came in with your problem, we would just solve it for you. And that was it. Like we were there to help you get a good grade. And people love the computer science club for that specifically. And we tried to be kind of secretive about it because you could actually get in trouble for cheating. Uh, the you know the professor says you're not allowed to help each other with uh, like on code, but basically I convinced everyone that that was bullshit, and uh, we would just help anyone who asked for help, and we would just solve the code for them. So we did an enormous amount of quote cheating, but yeah, it was kind of like cheating. So now we've got Mr. Tyler Matson. He says let's do it again. Another box of matchless fighters. I feel like I barely missed on the last one, and the next one will be a big hit. All right, here we are. Prove you didn't do the code yourself. Yeah, I know. So the professor was always like, your code better not look the same because I'll know you're cheating. So when we helped each other, we would, part of the uh, game of helping each other would be writing the code in a way that was consistent with the way that that student writes their code and making sure that they don't solve the problem in exactly the same way that we solved our problem. So we would find another solution to the same program uh, and this would this would make it so that we never got in trouble. We were very good at it. And my wife was one of the... Uh, that's a dumb rule. If you do it right, isn't it all supposed to look the same? Yeah, I actually got into an email argument with uh, Professor Blythe over the subject. Because I told him, I was like, you know, that's too harsh of a rule. Uh, the correct answer is the correct answer. And he's like, yeah... He basically was explaining, but when it comes to code, I don't want you to meet up with another student and be able to copy codes from each other. He's like, I want you guys to have to figure it out on your own. And I also disagreed with that. I was like, 
Well, part of figuring it out is going online and just looking up the code. You know what I mean? I was like, and if the guy right next to you already knows it, well, then just have him explain it to you and cut out the hours of taxing bullshit where you, you have to like read it out of some sophisticated book or Google, you know, Google the issue, but never really find the correct solution to it because that particular software uh, that you're working on is like, you know, it's designed to be hard to find on the internet. That's part of their job as the professor is to like give you a software problem that you can't just Google. So that's part of their job. Tyler Matson with the big one. Yeah, my wife and I, we love to help. We love to help other students with their stuff. And uh, my wife would even help me sometimes because she was just really, really, really talented. But there was also, uh, oh, right off the bat. Very nice. That's the Slow King alternative art. Take a look at that. Damn. You got the Slow King alternative art. Beautiful. All right. Now that's a little bit better than the ball man, huh? Let's see what else we got. Yeah, I, I did actually do some coding for my wife too. She was stuck on a, she was stuck on a, a class called, was it called basic? I can't remember. And the software was like really old software and she just didn't want to learn it because it was like irrelevant. And I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> so I ended up writing her software for that class. She didn't understand it either. She was actually struggling, struggling in that class. I think I got like a C in that class and it was a passing grade. That was one of our most difficult classes because it was a combination of working on software, but it was also uh, sort of like a really sophisticated class on how the hardware interacts with the software. And it was definitely one of the most difficult classes. Yeah, she, I think she got a C as well. I think both she and I just barely passed that class. And I think there was a point where her grade was gonna be like a D cold who bought so many packs so many timestamps look at this is dragazolt but actually my wife typically she did extremely well she would typically get a's and i would typically get usually b's i would get b's of course she would work harder than me i would be like playing video games <laughs> oh my gosh is urshifu is that right well my brain's asking if that's actually the right name so weird yeah, actually, when I was in college, I broke my first thousand subscribers on YouTube on the Card Economist channel. Uh, uh, not Card Economist, Game Economist. I'm sorry, my other YouTube channel. I broke a thousand subscribers and I was like, huh, neat. I, I was showing my wife. I was like, look, I got a thousand subscribers. And that was when we were still in college together. And I was like, I, you know, I was telling her, like, what if I just made uh, YouTube videos? And she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was just a passing thought. It wasn't like anything I considered serious. Oh, look at this shaman. And here I am working on YouTube's Galarian Moltres. Being best thing about AIDS is only you only get it once. That's right. AIDS is the gift that you can keep on giving. Cold. Here's Rune Rigus. Is it Rune Rigus? I always just say Rune Rigus. It's Intalion. Hold. Here's Urshifu again. How old is the Game Economist channel? To be honest, I don't even remember. But I didn't start seriously working on it until I got out of college. So it was just kind of this channel. No thumbnails, no tags, no titles really. Well, not, not like good titles. But, you know, I would play a lot of video games. And I was good enough at them that I would get some cool clips. And then one day I had a thousand subscribers. I was like, that's neat. I make like a dollar in, you know, ad revenue. I was like, oh, that's cool. Dollar in ad revenue. I think I had a breakout moment with uh, Destiny. Remember um, Destiny, the first game? And I had a breakout video that got like 400,000 views because it went viral. And it was just a friend of mine who had discovered a way of farming like for weapons. And I recorded while we were farming and I uploaded it and that that video like took off and when that happened i ended up getting like probably like 30 or 40 bucks in ad revenue i was like wow that's uh, really cool mr tyler matson that's definitely improve an improvement mr tyler that must suck 
I just put an offer two days ago, just waiting to hear back. What? So you know how to write code. I do. I actually wrote quite a lot of code, and I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Now, if you asked me to sit down and write anything meaningful right now, I would not be very good at it because I have not written much code after graduating. I got a job with the bank working on their database for it was all of about three to four months. It was a temporary. It was a uh, it was a contract job that was only it was just transferring data from one old database to a new one, and that was it. And it wasn't really too too complicated even. So I did that, and I was. I was uh, basically employed with a company called Tech Systems, and what they do is they hire you out to contract jobs. That's what they do. They, they find a contract job, and then they send you over to do it. And so I did one. Uh, I got really good feedback from the bank and from Tech Systems, and I told them I wanted a good engineering job. They're like, I'm sure we could find you one. While I was waiting for the next contract job to come around, I started working on my YouTube channel, and I started getting pretty good at it. And so one day I was like, I'm just going to do YouTube. Tyler Matson says, another five Tifa packs. You got it. Another five Tifa packs. Do I need to open a new box? Here we are. One, two. Yeah, I was sitting around waiting for my next job to arrive from Tech Systems. And they're like, yeah, we'll get you a job. They're like, there's always a new job. And I said, cool. And my wife started working her job. She got a job as a software engineer. At a company that was hiring women at the time, they're like, we need more women. They're like, we need more female representation. So she got hired just because she was a girl, <laughs> which we weren't complaining, right? We needed the money. I was like, oh, good. And so she's earning good software engineer money. And I'm just waiting for my next job to show up. And one day I'm like, what if I just did YouTube? And I, I sort of took the plunge. I said, I'm going to go for it. That's why I told her, I'm like, I'm not going to take an, another job. I'm going to try and do YouTube. There was like this moment where I was making, I don't know, maybe like $5 a day. I was making like $5 a day. And I told her, I'm just going to try and do it. And if it doesn't work after one year, I'll, I'll quit it and I'll get back to software engineering. So that's why I told my wife. And uh, to her credit, she was actually very supportive of this. She did not tell me I wasn't allowed to. You could actually tell she was uncomfortable with the idea because we had just graduated and we needed lots of money, you know. We had just graduated. We had zero money. We needed lots of money. And I was making like $5 a day. It was nothing. But, yeah, I was able to grow the channel very quickly. Didn't take long at all. Here we go. So we're opening up Tifa packs, and I'm going to look for any waifu cards. We've got Zidane Hero, Princess Sarah, and Rude. It was a, it was kind of a scary decision. The tech systems company did call me back, and they're like, all right, we got a job for you. And that was maybe one of the hardest moments, because what I did was I told them, you know what? Uh, I'm going to work on YouTube. That's what I told them. I was like, I, I told them I had a YouTube channel and I was just going to work on that for a while. And they're like, all right, well, when we get another one, we'll call you again. I was like, okay. And they did that like two more times. They called me and said they had a job for me and I turned them down both times. But that first time when they're like, all right, we've got a job for you. Come do it. Man, I almost just said yes. I was like, forget about YouTube. Ooh, here's Shadow Legendary and Rosa. So I almost said, forget about YouTube. Here's a real job. Uh, you know, I'm going to get experience. I'm going to get a paycheck. We need the money. But I, had, I, I don't know. I just had a feeling that I was going to I was gonna make it on YouTube. Hey, what is this? Rydia! RPR? What does that mean? That's a nice looking card, man. Take a look at that, guys. There we go, Rydia. Oh, and Ritz is actually a legendary. Nice. Cool. You got two legendaries out of here already. Ooh, darn. That's not Tifa back there. Common, Red Cat, Black Mage. Red Mage. You also got Bell Dot, Hooded Man, Glauca, and Sahagin. Actually, what you guys ought to do someday, you ought to go over to the Game Economist channel and scroll way 
back to when I was working on Dark Souls videos and listen to the very first video that I did commentary on. I don't sound anything like I sound today because I had no clue what I was doing. I just didn't know how to talk into a microphone. It's something you kind of have to learn. So I sound like a complete idiot when I first start. Here we go. Mr. FF cards are my bulk. Oh! My bad. My B. All right. <laughs> Here we are. Mr. is smart. Well, if you would have been long round, he would explain about the Derek days. What? Yeah, and, you know, I had so much adversary kind of growing that Monster Hunter channel. You know, there were some guys out there who really did not like me when I started working on Monster Hunter. And it was, the reason why was simple. When I started making Monster Hunter videos, I was like giving out advice on how to play the game. Well, Monster Hunter had been around for like 14 years already. And some of my advice was just not that good. It was, it was, you know, it was like good intentional, but it actually wasn't accurate. It wasn't like perfect meta. It wasn't like I had a perfect understanding of the game. And it continued to be that way for a little while. And there were some guys who just straight up hated me. They they really did not like me at all, and they didn't want to see my channel succeed. They didn't want my channel just to succeed. We have David Likey. He wants three Japanese bloosters. Here we are. You're in inspiration. I'm going to quit my job and see my dream as a SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> Sounds good. And, uh, yeah, so... There's a lot of elitism over in Monster Hunter World. There's a lot of it's sort of like chess beating and dick measuring and all that stuff. And Luzamine, but that's true for every community, to tell you the truth. Look at this Luzamine. Yeah, some of my videos started to gain traction and they were like, well, why is his channel growing? My channel should be the one to grow. I never, I never really forgot that. There were like these guys on like game FAQs. You guys remember that server? That uh, website, I mean. There were guys on game FAQs and they are like, his channel shouldn't be growing. Uh, this other guy's channel should be growing because he's a true, uh, you know, like so-and-so. He's been playing all this time. He does all the information right. And the truth is his channel wasn't growing because he didn't really understand how to make good content. And I could see that as, you know, this sort of like uh, brand new uh, learning, but I had a concept of, of content, content creation. So can you and your wife make apps? Yeah, actually we worked on a website together called, um, it was called Palico Party, that's what it was called. And it was for Monster Hunter and it was an armor calculator and it was quite nearly done. And, and then actually she stopped working on it because she basically, she could not work on that website with me and her job at the same time. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we very nearly finished it. And I wish she had saved, she might still have it saved somehow. I don't know where she has it. Maybe I'll show it off one day. Team Rocket Grunt says two more live custom boosters. You got it, Mr. Team Rocket Grunt. Mr. Do you expect your TCC slabs to hold market value or just sentimental value? The bomber card. That's a great question. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest. I don't think that my slabs or any brand new startup slabs are that valuable compared to PSA uh, or CGC. Even CGC is a little bit better, right? Or Beckett. So CGC, Beckett, PSA are the big dogs in my opinion. And no, I, I think that you would you would mostly grade your card with me for fun and maybe because it's quite fast. But also maybe it's because I, I thought about it for a little while. Maybe you just like the idea of having me in particular grade your card. Like, hey, my card was graded by the card economist. You know what I mean? So I think that at least would be pretty fun. All right, you got one switch trainer, Mr. Team Rocket Grunt. Can you hack computers? Yeah, man, I'm a hacker man. Nah, they don't teach you hacking in school. Not the school I was at. Thomas... I mean, we were taught about some ideas on how hacking works. We, we did learn a little bit about encryption. Um, actually, we kind of self-taught on in encryption. There was no encryption class. But there were classes like algorithms and uh, how the... Uh, I'm trying to remember it all. There's, there's a ton of it, actually. 
there, there's a whole bunch of computer science classes. It just depends on what subject you want to talk about. So Team Rocket Grunt, where'd your bag go? Team Rocket Grunt, I know you just want to donate this beautiful off-center switch trainer hollow. Mister, you still have to cut five packs of Fortnite for me. I'm cutting them, I promise. What's the next move, Jersey? Mister, what do you think of the BMW sets? <laughs> the BBW? Next up, we got Jeff Leon, who says three EV heroes. Keep the hollows. Why, thank you, Jeff. Wait, what was the bummer card hit? The bummer card hit. Oh, oh, he didn't see that the bummer card got pulled. Yeah, so Demetrius pulled the bummer card the other night, and he pulled out a PSA 7 holographic base set Charizard. What do we got? We've got Sylveon. Oh, man, look at this Sylveon. So lovely. One. Cold. The CGC grade DBZ cards. No, just Pokemon and Magic right now, I'm afraid. When TCC grading opens, I'll grade anything. I don't care. I don't care. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll grade anything at all. I'll grade your um, your waifu cards. What is, what is her name? Uh, I'll grade your Belle Delphine cards. There you go, Mr. Jeff. Darwin Morales. He says, four battle styles. Would you trade my Karina Focus in my bag for four more battle styles? Uh, I will certainly think about it. Give me a minute. So we got four battle styles. And Mr. Darwin's thinking about having a trade where I give him four more for his Karina. Will you grade my COVID card? I will grade your COVID vaccine passport. We got Danny, David, Dennis, Francisco, David... Are you, like, up top? He must be up top. <whistles> Mr. Darwin, where am I going to find your bag? Maybe he's in the overflow. Let's check over there. Demetrius is over here. Caesar Soto's over here. Adam Sharp, Christopher... I'm sorry, mister, but I can't seem to find your bag. Caden Wolf, Dontrell Davis, Cody, Christopher, Raphael, Mike Hooter. Damn, dude, I just can't find your bag. There's actually too many bags. All right, let's try this again. Danny, Danny Marks, David, Dennis, Francisco, David Meza. Francisco, Dionet, Daniel, Dennis Hammer, David Dolan, Dakota, Damian Dolan, Dustin, Devin Augustine, Daniel something, Dylan, Daniel Castaneda, Francesco, Devin Bailey, Francisco. So the problem we're running into, Mr. Darwin Morales, is I can't find your bag at all. Did your bag, is your bag like really old? Can you tell me that? How much longer will I be live? I will be live long enough to open everyone's cards. So you don't have to worry about that, but you might have to stay up a little late with me. Uh, I'll go check I'll go check the box over here. Give me a minute, guys. You might have an old bag. Darren, Dayton, Dustin, Damon Smallwood, Dustin Robinson, David Baginski, Darren, Devin, Dennis, Dexter, Desi, Daniel, W Hero. Yeah, okay, so he's not over here either. Mister, I'm just gonna open up your cards if you don't mind. All right. Darwin Morales, huh? My bag is up top in the D box. Oh, okay. Let's look up there one more time. Should have read your message a little more carefully. You haven't seen Kitty in months. Here's Shinx. Bruxish. Yeah, I need a secretary pretty bad. 
Here's Orbeetle, Sandaconda. And Phoebe! Oh, man. All right, Phoebe. His bag can't be that old if he has a Karina Focus. True. Damon Sim, Derek Riley, Dustin Henderson, Emmanuel Finnegan, Dan Newman, Diego, Darwin Morales. You're like the last bag. That's why I missed you. All right, give me a minute. Oh, you got this cool Urshifu, huh? So here's your Karina Focus. Mm, I'll have to turn it down this time, mister. Your Karina Focus is a little too off-center for my liking. I will go ahead and add your hollows in there. I appreciate the offer, though. Mr. Darwin. Woo! You should offer different labels to choose from with your grading company. I don't think I agree with that. Uh, I heard something like Tree Frog or whatever the name was was doing that. I like... That PSA's label is always the same. It's a standardized label. I, I've had some ideas. Yeah, I've had some interesting ideas before. Uh, I should probably pick the idea that is very best and then stick to it so the labels don't change like 20 times. Giratina. Magnoton. And Electrode. Now we've got Michael Cusick, who says three cosmic. I'll donate the hollows. Oh, thank you, Michael. Michael, were you waiting very long for your turn? Will you grade more like PSA, where it's a bit more lax and more harshly like CGC, where a flaw is a flaw? Yeah, so I've thought a lot about this, and what I, I plan on doing is I will offer a PSA 10 gem mint grade that has the exact same standard that PSA has. So just like PSA, you will be able to grade PSA 10 over here. And my goal will be to have it so that if you took the card and you sent it to PSA to be reholdered re or like crossover graded, PSA would also give you a 10. That would be my that would be my primary goal. And then my next goal would be to obtain some imaging uh, equipment like hardware Maybe like some fancy cameras that can do x-rays and shit like that. Ah, darn, man. Those are some cold cosmics. Mr. Michael Cusick. I apologize. My goal would be to get some electronics to help me take pictures. Even the Gallade's pretty off-center, Mr. Michael. And then I will offer the pristine grade and the perfect grade. That Well, maybe I'll offer pristine grade right away. Because I feel like pr pristine grade's... Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'd do it without the imaging software, though. Yeah, so some kind of imaging software and imaging hardware will allow me to give you the pristine grade and the perfect grade. So my plan would be PSA, er, a gem mint 10, a pristine 10, and a perfect 10. So you've got three different versions of the 10 that you can earn. Next up, you've got Juan Garcia, who says, One more live pack. You got it, Mr. Garcia. Oh, I got to sneeze, man. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You got Machop. Oh, no, I got to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> I need enough time to mute the mic there. You have to, like, push two buttons to mute the mic. It's so stupid. What a bad design. <laughs> all right. Machop. Now your cards all have COVID. Delta Variant Plus. Now we have Charlie Alesco, Small Bag 2, Evolutions for Mr. Charlie. You got it, Charlie. Charlie Alesco. Might be pronouncing your name wrong. This goes back. That's too many of them. Charlie Alesco. I think that QR code with a link to the card being pulled would be a great way to separate you from all the other grading services. True. However, I thought about that as well. And I think that would take a very long time to document every card. So maybe it would be smarter to have it be something that you can purchase for like a card that you think is a bit more valuable than others. You know what I mean? So it might be just an option. Here's Raichu with a print line. Ooh. And Porygon. Look at this lovely Porygon. Pack number two. Oh, uh, something back there. Um, oh, it's Magmar. Come on, Magmar. Get out of here. <laughs> 
Magmar looking real well centered though. Loving the centering on these evolution cards. That is for Mr. Charlie. That's okay. Magmar can beat Charizard. Charlie. Chris. We just had Charlie, right? Did we place you up in this box, Charlie? Let's find out where we put Charlie. One of the AUS grading companies used to give reports on exactly what was good, bad about the card. Yeah, you know, I think that would be a little bit of a time waste. Did you see my cold lives? Whew. Those were pretty cold. Next up, we have Andrew Martinez. Two more live customs. You got it, Andrew. Choop, choop, choop. Araquanid. And choop, choop, choop. Butterfree. Araquanid Butterfree. I apologize, Mr. Andrew. No hot pulse there. Now we have an order from Charlie Ellisco. Two live custom boosters and a shiny star V. You got it, Mr. Charlie. Wow, you ordered again right away. Choop, choop, choop. Serena. And choop, 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 choop. Crobat. Oof, man, where's the hot pull? The heck? I'm so sorry, Charlie. Nothing coming out of those live custom boosters. Let's test your shiny star. It would take a lot of work, but I think if there was an app to go along with the grading company, it would be cool, and you could look up any ID number. Yeah, so uh, definitely, my wife could definitely work with me on getting a website made. She's probably very skilled at coding because she actually took a job in coding, and she's been coding all these years now. See, I only finished my degree, and I didn't, I didn't continue to do it. Take a look at that. That's a pretty good pack. You got Drizzle Shiny. And then you also got the Code Card Pikachu, which is pretty good, too. So this Code Card Pikachu, I'm pretty sure, is gradable. And uh, you can see it's 7 out of 24. Okay, there you go. That was a decent pack of Shiny Star for Mr. Charlie. We were thinking of having a real simple website, yeah. See, I don't know if I'll accept submissions from people. I might only offer grading for people who are opening packs over here. And it might be that I never expand the grading to have like people working for me and to have like, you know, like a team of graders. I might be the only grader for the end of time, you know what I mean? For that little grading uh, thing, the TCC, the TCC thing. So it might just be that the whole concept is you, you're hiring me specifically to, to grade your cards and not some random uh, worker who's being paid by the hour. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I mean, that would mean when I retire, no more no more TCC cards ever get graded. So eventually, I guess it couldn't be like that forever. It's an interesting concept. Eric Lovato says one more live custom blooster. Here goes, Mr. Eric. Choo, 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 choo. Oh, look, Mr. Eric Lovato having all the luck tonight. PSA 8, number 59. What could that be, Mr. Eric? Actually, what could it be? Where is it? It says, oh, number 59. Did I say 89? Number 59. I was looking for an 89. Here it is. <laughs> oh, man, you got a good one. Eric Lovato has been having the night of his light. Uh, night of his light. Life of his night. Wait, night of his life. Oh my God, I can't talk. My head is swimming. All right. Whoop, PSA 8. Blaine's Arcanine. Congratulations. Also, you'll notice no uh, no uh, rarity right there. That is the Gurun City Gym Deck Blaine's Arcanine. Congratulations, Mr. Eric Lovato. What a nice pull. Okay, cool. Now we have a really big order for Tyler Matson. One last big order. Japanese team up a full box. Damn, you got it, mister. Here it goes. One box of Japanese team up. Mister, remember when you had huge slab drought? Yes, well, we're headed toward another slab drought. I'm actually running low on slabs right now. The number of slabs we ran through in the last, like, even just two weeks is pretty surprising. So we'll have a slab drought again in no time. But that's okay. I figure if that occurs, the uh, live custom booster box will be full of, like, 
I don't know, maybe like rare booster packs or, or full booster boxes, stuff like that. Maybe just rare ungraded cards. You know, we could find ways to keep it fun. Until another slab return comes in. Okay, team up. Sneep. Just getting these sneeps in. I recently got Shiny Charizard V. What? All right, very good. I can't believe Eric Lovato just sniped that after getting the gym challenge pack tonight. Shout out my boy since he finally here. Here we go. What do we got? Ooh, cold. Here's Pikachu Zekrom. We love Pikachu Zekrom in this set. Excellent. Hold. Here's Moltres Hollow. So this is for our friend Tyler Matson. Tyler's gone very deep tonight, guys. Here's Amastar. Cold. Blastoise. Look at this Blastoise. So Blastoise is going to count as a hit. Cold. This guy, whatever his name is. Here's Magikarp Wailord. Ooh. Cold. Gyarados. Rah. He's so tough. Here's Bill. What is this? Oh, okay, Erica. We're getting closer to halfway done. Cold. Latias, Latios. There we go. Latias, Latios. Cold. Cold. Here's Articuno. Kaka. Dragonite. We like Dragonite. Cold. Getting closer to the end. Electrode. What do we got? I'm feeling it. It's these next couple packs. There's Charizard. All right. So Charizard Hollow. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Your big hit is in the next three packs. Hopefully it's a good one. All right. That's the cold one. Here it is. <laughs> Another Celebi Venusaur. Rah. Man, that's a tough looking Venusaur. All right. Very nice, man. Great pull. Uh, honestly, all the team up pulls are very fancy. It's, it's like you just can't go wrong with it. Both Celebi and Venusaur are very well known popular Pokemons. Woo. What do you guys think the worst pull in the box set is? Maybe the Magikarp Wailord? Maybe. I don't even want to say that's the worst pull. Oops. There you go, mister. You got your Charizard. You got your Blastoise. Sleep these up. It is really hard to go wrong with this set. It's just like every pull is good. But yeah, maybe these guys are the toughest. Magikarp, Wailord. I just don't think they're the same caliber as like Latios, Latios, Pikachu, Zekrom, Venusaur, Celebi, Gengar, Mimikyu, Snorlax, Ven uh, Snorlax Eevee. Mr. Tyler. Oh me oh my. What is this music that's getting played? You got a lot of cards over here, Tyler. Holy. Ramiro Andrade. He says three Fortnite, one Eevee. I have a bag. No more Fortnite. Here it is. Ooh. So three Fortnites and one Eevee. Ow. Mr. Ramiro. Let's start with the Eevee. Brock's Grit is probably the worst. Is that in Team Up? Maybe you're right. Maybe it is Brock's Grit. Oh, Brock. Cold. So that's a cold pack of Eevee Heroes. Sorry for that. Let's try the Fortnite cards. I'm going to need that Fortnite card back. Sneep. 
What am I listening to? This sounds terrible. Is this still Yoshi music? One hour of relaxing Yoshi music. Let's restart it. All right, Mr. Ramiro. Play Piranha Lullaby. All right, let's see what we got. That's a rare outfit, and it's non-hollow. All right, so this first pack is cold. Okay, pack number one. Pack number two. This is also a rare outfit. It is also not hollow. So we're looking for hollow cards for sure because uh, what's apparent to me is that very few of these packs have holographic cards in them. The holographic card is like a full art pull equivalently. Is that a, is that a word? Did I say equivalently? Oh, man, I got a itchy eyeball. <laughs> Cat allergies. All right, and pack number three. Good luck, Ramiro Andrade. What do we got here? Another rare outfit, Heartbreaker. And it's not hollow. <laughs> Woo! I'm sorry, man. Yeah, those hollow cards must be pretty hard to come by. All right. Hey, Mr. Is this Italian print or USA print? I imagine it's USA print. There's an Italian print? Panini America printed in Italy? What? I didn't even know that was a thing. Cool, man. So that goes to Ramiro. Ramiro with an R. And let's see, where's Ramiro? Printed in Italy? That's crazy. Why would they print it over there and, and then ship it all the way over here? It makes no sense. Here it is. All right. Those Italian women. What? Oh, what is this music? Let's skip to the next one. After Ramiro, we need to refresh. Woohoo! Ah, my legs are stiff. Way too much sitting. What time is it? It's three? Nice. We're at 200 minutes. We'll keep going, guys. Y'all got rats in the city like no other. Bruv. Bruv! Go ahead and refresh. It's pending sale, I believe, from another stream. What? All right, so what do we got? Plenty more orders to go through, everyone. There is a lot of cards to open. We have Dionet Denley, who says one NFL prism. Mr. Dionet. Dionet. All right. Look at this. Snip. Did my order go through? I'm sorry, this is my first time. It probably did. Uh, there's probably a long wait time, okay? So we got Henry Rugg, Cam Newton, Antonio Gibson Orange. Here we go. All-American Caleb Farley, rookie, and Tyler Vaughn, rookie. Nice. No Crusade card, though. We want the Crusade Orange rookie, right? I think those are the best ones. Okay. We got these three cards over here. <laughs> wow, these feel really premium, these cards do. Real thick stock. They do not feel like other cards. They feel a lot nicer. Okay, so that was for Dionet. He says, I have a bag, Mr. Dionet. Let's find it. I feel like if you'd opened sports last time, I would have placed you over here, actually. Let's see what's in here. Sven. Nick. <laughs> Who's this? Anthony Ravy, and somebody whose name I can't read. Okay, well, you're certainly not in that box. We're going to check this other box. Rodolfo, Ricardo, James Gower, Jonathan Morris, Michael. All right, so you're not in there. Mr. Dionet, I'm going to check the D-box now.
David Likey, Danny Mark, David, Dennis, Francisco, David, Francis, Dionet. Now, why don't we move your bag over to those sport boxes, okay? So you don't get mixed up with these Pokemon guys. Mr. Dionet, I'm putting you in the sport box. If you could remember that for me, it will make it easier to find your bag next time. I'll put you in the back here. We like the uh, sport boxes because they just contain sport cards. Now we got Team Rocket Grunt who says, can't believe I got this knife. Can I get store credit for my Unified Minds Tyranitar? Hmm. <laughs> he wants to, he wants to store credit on it. Um... Let me just look it up real fast. Maybe. He's like, I'm ready for that store credit, mister. All right, give me a second. Give me one second. Would you do would you do 160 on the Tyranitar? Houses are being scalped and resold like Pokemon cards. Yeah, that was a subject I was talking about myself. Uh, maybe you heard me say it. I was talking about how I'm actually not a big fan of uh, land ownership for for renting for landlords. Not a big fan of landlords. People, they need a home. A home is an essential need for people. And turning it into a uh, scalped sort of like renter system is not a good idea. I think it's a bad idea. It's sort of, sort of like a um, feudal system or something like that. Sounds good, mister. All right. Sounds good. Mr. Team Rocket Grunt. I'll put this away. And you now have a very spicy card over here. There you go. There we go. Sweet. Go work on your Quidditch, Harry. What? That's racist. Next up, we got YT Products, 30 live customs and live shipping. You don't make any sense. Do I even have 30? Man, I don't know if I have 30. Let's start going through. You can have all of them. So let's see what happens. So there's one, two. That's the biggest order of live customs ever. Three is CGC8. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, oops, <laughs> 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, you landed on a hit on pack number 30. Very good. 
That is ideal. You landed on a hit. Damn, dude. You're wiping me out. You enjoy the live customs a lot more than I think anyone I've ever encountered. I thought I made a lot of them. Apparently not. So that's a lot of stuff. Uh, let's First of all, let's get you your two large. We'll put you on four and five for Mr. YT Products. All right. 30 live custom bloosters. I've got you these two packs of tag team all-stars. So this is a really cool set. The nice thing about it is every pack is a hit. You get a GX out of every pack. And if you're lucky, you can get a full art. So you've got, why look at this. It's one Pikachu Zekrom, nice. By the way, you also end up with like four hollows from it. So there's a ton of holographic cards. And the next pack is, hey, there's Hollow Blastoise. So you got a Hollow Blastoise in there and it is GX Mawile. Damn, dude. You scooped it up, man. So now you got a, let's, let's start with the beginning. There we go. PSA seven, number nine. Apparently this is a good one. Oh, I see, cool. Yeah, this one is a little pricier. So this will be Shadowless Holographic Magneton from the base set, PSA 7. All right, and the Shadowless cards were really part of a very small print run of the base set. So these are, they can get quite expensive just because of that. Sometimes they are just really, really, really low pop. Here's PSA 9 SM90. What the heck is that? Oh, you get one lovely Raichu Full Art. All right. That's going to be for YT products as well. Now you've got a CGC 8, number 46. <laughs> you've pulled this before, actually. I think you have. So this is also a shadowless Charmander, and somebody apparently tried to touch up the corners with ink, uh, but it still scored an eight, and it still looks really nice. Here's PSA 10, number 66. What is that? Oh, this is probably the best one. So I like this one. So this is for YT Products. And you pull first edition Neo Genesis Meryl, dude. Nice. So that's Meryl. Meryl was like, when when uh, Gen 2 came out, Meryl was like the next Pikachu, you know what I mean? He was like blue Pikachu. He's another mouse Pokemon. Very cute. Everyone was hyped about him. He was really popular is what I remember. And uh, yeah, that's a really solid card. That's from the Neo Genesis collection and people love Neo Genesis. So here you go. Some vintage, some modern. Over here, you've got quite a stack of raw cards out of this deal. So you got these two packs. Remember, one of these has the Hollow Blastoise in it. Dracloak, um, Ditto Computer Search Rare, Jolteon. It's a little worn out. That's a Jolteon non-hollow. Some stuff. Butterfree VMAX, Dragapult V Full Art, Haunter, and Fighter Energy. So you got a number of raw card pulls. And you got a whole bunch of holographics as well. There you go. Oh, you also got the two spots in the large, right? So that's that's valued around eighty dollars because that's what I charge for those. And he ordered a live shipping with that. Have your other stuff shown up yet? Is it exciting when it arrives? All right, let me go make your label. Holy. 
Mr. YT Products. Whew, what a busy stream. Are we back? Mr. Ruben Aguilar, you pull Onyx Reverse Hollow. Woohoo! We came back for like a second there, and then I opened it, and then we were gone again. So it's like on off, on off. One Reverse Hollow Onyx, and I think there's a Charmander as well. But you know, he's like crazy off center. You are not going to be able to grade a 10 on that Charmander. And we're primarily we're interested in that card when it grades well. All right. Sorry about that, Ruben, and sorry about the lag spikes, everyone. Oh, Ruben, you pulled that nice Naganadel tonight. It's more fun when your pull is not so laggy. Can you guys see well? Is it is it blocky? Next up, we got Marcel Torres, who wants two Champions Path. You got it, Mr. Marcel. Marcel is looking like we need to open up a box of Champions Path. I'll be right back. Champions Path. Don't mind me, just making a mess. Got some sleeves here. It'll charge our sleeves. Got some energy cards. Man, I really like this song that's playing. Is there no easy way to open these? The other the other packs used to be very easy to open. They're using a different production machine to package these. That looks like a strip that you can pull. Oh, are we there? Hello, hello. Looks like we're still getting those lag spikes. We got a hundred people. Really only a hundred people watching? Dude, you get one lag spike. <laughs> you get two lag spikes and everyone's gone. Is the light flareon still for sale? Uh yeah, it might be. The light flareon? Tempted to keep it to tell you the truth, it is a flareon. Is this it? Alright, let's try it out. So uh, I think we've got a little stability. This is for Marcel Torres. Mr. Marcel. Good thing we weren't opening a, uh, up a box of, like, Champions... Pa I'm sorry, not Champions Path. Uh, Gym Challenge, first edition, and having these lag spikes. That would be really bad. All right, that was two cold packs of my Champions Trash. For Mr. Marcel. Mr. Marcel, is this your first time ordering? He made it sound like it was his first time ordering. Marcel, just some holographic cards, I'm afraid. I'm not surprised. That is very common for the Champions Path set. Sweet, the line got shorter. <laughs> Actually, all the orders are still in, I'm sure. <laughs> That's sad, man. We had like over two viewers, and then these uh, lag spikes kick in, and poof, everyone's gone. It shows you how much pressure there is as a live streamer. People really don't care, you know? They're just, boom, they're gone. The moment, the moment they don't have like that instant gratification out of here. Kevin O'Neill says, gotta have that unified minds. Janet Giratina. Sounds good right here, the Garchomp Giratina. So this goes to Mr. Kevin. All right, oops. Now we've got Donovan, Donovan Rem. I want to order two Chilling Rains. I'm new and want to start a bag. You got it, Donovan. So this is for Donovan Rem. Rem? Donovan Rem. Donovan R. Sneep. All right, I'm just worried we're going to get another lag spike. So stay tuned, guys, because 
you know, I don't have a lot of control over it. I could reset my routers. I don't know if that would help. But by the time that happens, you'll all definitely be gone. Here's Flannery. Oh, man. Two cold ones, mister. The real ones are here. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> They're like, wait a second. Where's my instant pokey gratification? I'm out of here. <laughs> Donovan Ram. <laughs> there we go. Mr. Donovan, you think you could just go around buying pokies, huh? We have Zach Alley. He says, for chilling rain. What's up, Zach? My neighbor is smoking meth. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Pronounced Reem. Oh, Donovan Reem. Donovan, I promise you I'm going to forget that. <laughs> Sneep. What considered a small PSA 10 pop? Uh, I'd say like 200, 200 card graded PSA 10 is pretty small. Here's Stene and Lipard. That's based off of a lot of uh, older Watsi sets have populations within 200. Some of them go down to like 100. And some of them go down to like the 50s and the 60s. Real low. Keck, Leon. Keck, keck, keck. And Cresselia. All right. That was for Zach Alley. Thank you, Zach. Here he is, Zach Alley. Mm -hmm. Now we have Authentic Grails, 10 Battle Styles, 10 Chilling Rain. I will confirm via Discord. Sounds good. Remember, in order to get shipped out, you need to make a post in the Please Ship channel. Uh, and you can get shipped out whenever you feel like it. But whenever you do make that post, there's a seven-day waiting period. All right. Give me a moment. So 10 Battle Styles and 10 Chilling Rain. It's Jaguar Plays. How's it going, Jaguar Plays? People were just talking about you, Jaguar. They are like, they were thinking that you should give away some Mewtwo's for people who are having a tough time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweet. Oops, let's move this out of the way. There we go. All right, now we need 10 chilling rain as well, huh? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweet. That's a lot of Pokemon cards. You ready, Mr. Authentic Grails? I'm ready. It's the Holy Grail of Pokemons. I've been listening to this music too much. Starting to recognize it. Were you picked on? Says future of the retro. Yeah, when I was a little kid, everyone picked on me. Well, sleep. All right, here we go, Mister Authentic Grail. Here's Primeape. New to the channel, and I see the gold back there. The gold? What? <laughs> Tell Harry to chill. He is pissed for no reason. Harry, you need to chill, man. What do we got? We've got Cole Fossil. So we're going through 10 packs of Battle Styles. Hey, there you go. That is a nice full art Tyranitar. Ooh. Loving that Tyranitar. I got to get myself one of those graded 10. I'm a big Tyranitar fan. Here's Drampaw. Carnivine. Holy. Pig Knight. What a chubby cheeks pig. And Marowak. 
So that was kind of a cold round. Yeah, he only got one hit. Should have gotten two. He only got one. TCC graded 10 Tyranny Tar. <laughs> All right, next 10 packs. Let's see what you get. We've got Spiritomb, Spiritus, Pokitus, Celebi VMAX. Look at that Celebi. He's a bit off center down there, so he's getting the deck sleeve. Because I don't think you'll grade him. Except he won't go into the deck sleeve. There he goes. Hey, this is Kevin O. I think you gave me the GX, not the Reverse Hollow Giratina from Unified Minds. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> I'm like, what is he talking about? Thank you. I will go fix that right after this, okay? That was a little confusing. Oh, Waifu, you pull honey. Ooh, Hoochie Mama. I'm liking this shirt she's wearing. What the? Oh, my. That's some fashion. Holy. Mom, get in here. Difference between deck sleeves. What? Dinah Tree and Sandy Conda. Look at this Sandy Conda. So, wait. Honey is actually in Chilling Rain. That's so weird. I didn't expect that. Been here the whole time, player. I was talking hours ago. What? What are we talking about? Here's the wacky. And Kavu. Damn, Kavu. Watch yourself, man. You better check yourself before you pokey wreck yourself. Can we see her feet? I'm afraid you can't. All right. And we'll toss this away. So, Mr. Authentic Grails, you're definitely a new guy. Nice to meet you. And you're starting out with a, a fat bag, basically. Uh, looks like you got a Honey Pull and a Tyranitar Pull. Very nice. You also have these two guys over here. I think that evens out to one every five packs. I think that's just about right. <laughs> this is like back to school music, the way this sounds. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> Authentic Grails. Are you ready to go back to school in the fall? Come to J.C. Penny. We've got backpacks and children's jeans. <laughs> All right, you're going to go up in the A box. Very nice. Can you rotate the slabs? There's a PSA 9 butt free. Oh, we need to fix this. So this Giratina is sold. And this Giratina is not sold. Oops. This is what he was picking up. He was picking up this sexy guy. Kevin O'Neill, right? Let me just check. Yes. Okay. There you go, Mr. Kevin. Now we have Connor Gillespie, one more fork knife pack. You got it for Connor Gillespie, one more fork knife. Oh, Mr. Connor, let's pull you that legendary hollow, okay? What happened last night? I took a break. Let's see what we got. We've got, oh man, rare Bandoletta outfit. Okay, Bandolet. Time them out, Alex. Take no prisoners. What? You lost your kill streak. I know. I know. That's all right. We still got a pretty good kill streak going on. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be really good. Charlie Connor Gillespie. My streaming kill streak, where we never miss a stream. All right, put this back up here. Oh, man, Connor. Mr. Connor Gillespie, Anthony Haymeyer. What's up? He says, tier one for my Blastoise cards. Okay, and where did I place your bag after we were done? Oh, I placed it over here. Because I knew you were probably going to request grading. For both Blastoises, that's probably what I would have done. I got a ton of these card graders on the way, by the way, guys. 
They are on their way via, via the ocean right now. And what are they? They're both C1? Yeah. There we go. Good choices. We have another order from Mr. Authentic Grails. He says 10 Chilling Rain and 10 Battle Styles. Wow, he ordered it twice. Okay. You crazy, man. He's going deep. What's up, Snorlax? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight. Nine, ten. Now for the Chilling Rain. Ooh, look at this. One Chilling Rain. Oops. <laughs> I'm like, one Chilling Rain? Ah! <laughs> All right, move that out of the way. Oh, look at this nice fresh box of Chilling Rain. Isn't that lovely? Mr. Authentic Grail. Let's get some nice pokies open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweet! All right. Wow, that's a lot of pokies, man. Here goes. Good luck, authentic grails. Oh my gosh, how many Snorlaxes? Sleep. Ooh, you know what sounds really good right now? Like some really, really fresh sushi. I'm getting I'm getting the hungers, guys. Okay, move this back here. Mistress name is my name, but you're spelling it wrong. What? This sounds like some old Charlie Brown type music, doesn't it? Ooh, Charlie Brown music sounds nice. That'll be super copyrighted though. Charlie Brown music, copyrighted to hell. All right, Authentic Grails, round two, fight. We've got Tool Jammer, oops. Here's Kimiko Embor. Bo -bo -bo Battle Styles. Glam Meow. Very glamorous. Fan of Waves. And Corvi Knight. Kaka! He's a bird. Ooh, I really need to get the uh, the Rainbow Rare version of the Corvi Knight. That sounds fun. Pachirisu and Full Art Urshifu. Their names are kind of similar, aren't they? Pachirisu and Urshifu. Here's Mr. Rhyme. Harry, you just said, just calm down and let me and so-and-so watch the stream in peace. Cricketune! Ah, oh, man. He's not even well-centered. He's like super off-centered. I'm sorry, Mr. Grail. Cricketune is maybe the worst pull in the set. Him and Mustard. He's the worst Pokemon in the set. Cricketune? He's such a dumb-looking Pokemon, man. Cricketune, my booty cheeks. All right, toss this over here. I'm sorry. You got a full art, which is supposed to be a good thing, right? That's like a secret rare in a Japanese box, but it's Cricketune. All right, time for these chili rains. We got Slow King, great Slow King artwork. All right, Slow King. Tune D's. <laughs> what? Here's Laron. 
Here's hair across. Don't cross them. Here's score bunny. Score bunny playing in the snow. That's weird. Justified gloves. My power went out yesterday. I hated it. Yeah. Woo. Have a, imagine having no power. No internet. No TV. No pokies. Here's Blaziken. Kaka. You didn't miss anything, though. I didn't go live yesterday. You got one Blaziken so far. That's pretty cold. Two packs left, though. Don't give up. No giving up hope. Here's Sobble. Last pack luck. Come on, make it happen. Ah, it's Sir Fetch, though, isn't it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Those are some chili pulls for Mr. Authentic Grail. I'll tell you what. Uh, we had some donations for the heavy, uh, I'm sorry, for the pity pull pile. And you are now picking up a Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. Um, you know what? I'm going to hand out one more. Oh, wait. We already gave one to Alex, didn't we? Yeah, we already gave one to Alex. So I was going to say Alex should have gotten one. So there we go. That was donated by Mr. Is it Anthony Haymeyer? I just wrote his name down. Yes, Anthony Haymeyer. So let me grab your bag. Authentic Grails. Your bag is really fat now. And... We don't even have room in the overflow pile up top anymore. I don't know where to put you. We are experiencing channel growth and it is making the table difficult. We have David Likey. For David Likey, another three Lost Thunders. You got it, Mr. David. David Likey. Mr. David. Are you handsome behind that camera, though, is the real question. Oh, I'm sexy like a fox. Toss this over here. What do we got? Cold. Cold. And look at this Blacephalon. All right. Blacephalon GX. What a pull, man. What a hot pull. For Mr. David Likey. Now I gotta find David Lucky's bag. <laughs> Francisco. He's got like one card, Francisco does. I feel like snatching it away. It's just like a hollow Reggie. Just being like, your bag doesn't get to exist. <laughs> you don't have enough in it. There you go, Mr. David. Oh, Mr. David Lucky. Eric Lovato says, one more hot custom blooster. You got it. Choop, choop, choop. I'm afraid it is a very non hot crushing hammer. And now my booty cheeks are crushed. Ruben Aguilar says one live custom booster. You got it, Mr. Ruben. Choop, choop, choop. You got a little diglet with a little hair on the top. Ah, so cute. Mr. Ruben. You're getting a fat bag, Mr. Ruben. Is Bow Styles the new Steam Siege? I don't think so. Johnny Ceruzzi, two NFL Prism draft picks and one live custom blooster. Sounds good. I gotta get a fresh box. If unknown says no, then I know what to do, says Alex PSX. That's right, Alex. Give him what for, Alex. All right, one live custom. Here you go. Choop, 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 choop. Great ball. Great. I'm sorry, mister. You sent an extra $2 as a tip. Hey, that's really nice, man. You didn't have to do that. So, Mr. Johnny Ceruzzi, let's see what you pull. Pack number one is Ezekiel Calvin Ridley, Jimmy Garrell Palu, Eamon Ross St. Brown rookie, and Eamon Ross St. Brown regular rookie. The other one was an orange rookie.
Can I actually sleeve these together? These aren't rookies, so I don't care so much about them. Oh, they can be sleeved together. So, Mr. Johnny, you got lucky. You got this bonus pack. And the bonus pack is Israel Mukuyamu rookie signature card. Wow, so lovely. Look at that. Mr. Johnny, how you get so lucky all the time, Johnny? Johnny, do you need a new bag? Yes, he needs a new bag. Mr. Johnny. TCC, I think you're in top chat. I'm pretty sure I'm not. YouTube used to automatically put you in top chat, but they don't do that anymore. So you are just in live chat when you start streaming. All right. Congratulations, Mr. Johnny. I'll place you... Where will I place your bag? In the sports box, of course. Sweet. And now we have... I don't know how to say your name. Daff... Daff Rees. All right. Daff Rees. Five Chilling Rain and one Vivid Voltage. We're getting a lot of new uh, people and all their names start with the letter D and it is wrecking the D box. So you need one Vivid. You got it, one Vivid. Here it goes, Mr. Daff. All right. Sleep. My name is Big D. My name is Biggie Smalls. Sneep. Hey, I was just about to say what happened to my best friend. My best friend. Here's Calyrex VMAX. Very nice. On his pony. Look at that little pony. My little pony. All right. Here's another chilling rain. It's Ladian. Have you ever had a male best friend in your late years? Uh, that's a great question. I guess not. You know, when I was younger, uh, when I was a homeschooler, I had a lot of friends. And uh, I liked them a lot. But then I ran away from home when I was like 17 or 18. I never saw any of them again. But then also, I, I happened to know that many of them moved to like Texas and to other states. Uh, because we live in Missouri. And Missouri is rather boring. And then I did actually make a really good friend when I was younger. And um, after I left home, his name was Dave. And he moved to Georgia. So I don't get to see him anymore. Yeah, he never he never comes around. He's, he's all the way out in Georgia. He's got his own family. Uh, you know, he's got like two kids and everything. So he's real busy now. So all the people I know, like, all moved out of here. And I've moved to Lake of the Ozarks now. I'm, I'm actually further away from anyone I've ever known uh, than ever before. So it's like, you just don't get a chance anymore. All right, that was for Mr. Daff Rees. What a knucklehead this guy is. Give him a knuckle sandwich, mister. Good grief. Okay, we'll grab these. Mr. Just befriend some old folks. Ugh. No, man. They'll be all like, back in my day. Get off the lawn. I ain't doing it. All right. Is it like Daffod? Daffod Reeds. All right. I don't think, you, nope, there's no more room in the D-Box. So we will stack you on the table for now. Mr. Garcia says one more live. Custom Blooster. Choop, 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 choop. Oh, what's this? PSA 9, number 78. Why are all these girls saying Venmo? I ain't no simp. I ain't no simp. It's my birthday. Send me money to my Venmo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I put that on my car and people send me so much money. Juan Garcia. All right, Juan, it's not a crazy pull. It's a real simple one. You got first edition Sunkern PSA 9 from Neo Genesis. That's vintage, right? It's kind of neat. It's Sunkern, that's the real problem. 
Andrew Keating, he says, can I get four Sword and Shield Battle Styles and one Blue Sky Stream? You made my bag earlier tonight. What's up, Andrew? Andrew wants some Pokemons. Andrew wants some Pokemons. Want some Pokemons in his Poke bag that I made earlier. All right, let's see what we got. Sneep. Sneep. Snoop. Super steep. Get an old lady girlfriend. Uh, that's probably not going to happen either. Old lady girlfriend. The frick. Gilf, your wife has amazing feet. She actually does. That is true. That's Esper. Look at that Esper. Here's Octillery. And Karina's focus. All right. One tapu smoopu it is. And finally, one Zygarde. Woo! All right. Zygarde in the night away. That's for Andrew Keating. Andrew. Mr. Andrew. Oops. <laughs> There we go. Jeffrey B. Mister, can I get three live boosters and five McDonald's? Holy moly, man. I don't know. The poll just came out. Let's see what happens to you. One, two. Oh, really? Boom. And whoop, three. I'm sorry, man. That's going to be cold. But maybe you pull the Pikachu out of the McDonald's and it's all better then. One, two, three, four, five. Can you write a book about swimming? Uh, I probably could. It would be all about swimming. I took swim classes when I was younger, when I was a kid. And then when I got older, I took uh, scuba instructions and became scuba certified. And then I went scuba diving in uh, Florida and in Kentucky. Whoop. And... And now I live in Lake of the Ozarks. How nice. I can go swimming anytime I want. One, two, three, four, five. I actually liked taking the swim lessons because I'd be around all these girls that were all swimming and they were in their swimming suits. And it's like, you know what I mean? I was pretty young, actually. It's kind of interesting how nobody really has to tell us sexuality. It's just sort of like this default thing that our human bodies understand. You know, we're like closer to animals than we like to think we are. Here it goes. Whoop, Turtwig. What a cute little Turtwig. He's so cute. I go to the beach and see, and I see a lot, mister. Yeah, really. It's kind of interesting. It wasn't always like that. Originally, people would pretty much wear full clothing at the beach. And then we sort of developed like a beach sort of like ethos or beach like style aesthetic. And increasingly it became like women that are nearly naked. And uh, yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing. Did you guys hear like, didn't France ban the burkini for a little while? They're like, no, if you come to the beach in France, you got to be hot. You know what I mean? You guys remember that? That was a big controversial thing a little while ago. I, I haven't heard about it since then, but it was years ago. Chimchar, look at this Chimchar. He's such a cute little monkey. What's your favorite starter trio other than the first gen? Oh, that's a really great question. Well, I guess here's what I'd have to say about that subject. Even in the first generation, I didn't like Squirtle, Bulbasaur, uh, Charmander, or Pikachu. I would typically go after a Drowsy, an Abra, and a Ghastly. So I liked all the psychic types. Tapig. No Pikachu in this pile, mister. I'm sorry. You didn't answer the question. What was the question?
You're asking me which generation is best other than Gen 1 for the starters? I mean, I don't like any of them. I think they're all pretty ugly. There we go. Jeffrey B., let me go find your bag, Mr. Jeffrey. He asked why you so hot. Mr. Do the Rob Stone song whistle. I don't know that one. Here we are, Jeff Jeffrey B. <laughs> Every starter is ugly. Yeah, really, Gen 1 had something very special going for it. That has not really been mimicked, in my opinion. Charlie Alisco. Last try, Charlie Alisco. Please give me that Charizard. Five evolutions and five live custom boosters. You got it. One, two, three, four, five. Damn, dude, you're going crazy deep. Look at all these. Snip. And snip. Look at that. We've almost gotten back up to 200 viewers after losing, like, 100 viewers from the lag spike. Isn't that crazy? All right, let's get a Charizard. Star you. Caterpie. Wow, he's actually better than Charizard in absolutely every way. Look, this, this Caterpie might actually have a shot at a 10. Look at him. Clean. Okay, uh, Caterpie gang. Let's see what else. Pink energy. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Got that pink energy. Right, ladies? Girl power. All right. Number three. Ponyta. Ponita. Magikarp and Venusaur. Okay, you got the Venusaur EX. And that Magikarp be looking pretty crispy. Pack number four. Come on, Charizard. Oh, I see... Uh, that's probably Blastoise. It looks like Blastoise. No, it's Mega Slowbro. It's worse than Blastoise. Mega Slowbro EX. Ah, your vast Poke wealth. Okay, and the Venusaur Spirit Link. You got one shot left, mister. Come on, Charizard. I suppose if he pulled every pack, he wouldn't be that special, would he? Star you, Growlithe, Gath. Ah, it's Dodowo, isn't it? Oh, master, I'm so sorry. No Charizard in these packs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did we not get any Pikachus or Charmanders? I don't think I saw any Pikachus or Charmanders even. Wow. Tough, man. All right. Woo! Now, you also need five live custom boosters. That's a big order. Are you ready? One, Shenotic. Two, three. Okay, you got a Indudu. That's pretty much worth it. Four, two cannon. And f -f 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 five, Charger Bug. Woo! The hottest round of your life, mister. All righty. That was for Charlie Alisco. I'm so sorry for the tough round. You are going to take home the last of these pity pulls for Mr. Haymeyer. So you now have a holographic vintage dark duck trio. Congratulations. Toss that away. There we go. That was pretty tough. But you know what? The Dark Duck Trio does help, doesn't it? All right, it softens the blow. That was for Charlie Elisco. Here you are, Mr. Charlie. He says, I'm still very happy. Yeah, let's go over the polls real fast. Dota Wo, Venusaur, Spirit Link, Mega Slowbro. The Venusaur is decent. Magikarp, Caterpie, Dark Duck Trio. I tell you what, man, I got to give you another poll. That was just so tough. I'm throwing this Charizard in. So you got Charizard GX too, okay? That was just really tough. <laughs> Mega slow, bro. Come on, bro. Emiliano, he says five EVs. I think he means EV heroes. You got it. 
Emiliano, one, two, three, four, five. Master Emiliano. Sneep. What do we got? We got two cold ones. Wait, the first one was hot. Here's a Raikou. We got one Glaceon. And... Ah! Swampert! All right, looks like you're taking home one Glaceon Full Art, Mr. Emiliano. Thanks for popping in, Emiliano. How's it going? Let's see. I know you got a bag. And it is... That's Derek Withrow. Here it is. Mr. Emiliano. One Glaceon. Sweet. Your bag's feeling pretty thick. We're ready to refresh. We're 250 minutes in. It's been an extremely busy night. Man, it has been so busy. You think it's because we didn't stream yesterday night? That's why it's so busy tonight. That's got to be it. It's got to be because we didn't stream yesterday. Has anyone hit uh, out of the Lost Thunder? I've been cold. Almost no one orders it. There's got to be something in those packs. Quick, snipe them. Snipe those Lost Thunders. <laughs> Tammy, 10 Opus 1s, 10 Japanese team-ups. I have a bag. You keep the hollows. All right, so here's the deal, Tammy. Uh, I only have... Uh, I only have one, two, three, four, five of the Final Fantasy ones. And then I can get you the ten Japanese team-ups. Miss Tammy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I want to start with these Final Fantasy packs. Uh, and we'll find out what you'd like to do with the remainder of the value of that. Sleep. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. All right. Miss Tammy, pack number one. All right, we've got Black Belt Evoker. Gilgamesh, got this cool looking card. Summoner, Mystic, Squire, Mime, and Godot. You also have Odin, Gabranth, Onion Knight, and Ishtola. By the way, are any of these very valuable? I don't really know like all the Final Fantasy characters. Let's go ahead and sleeve up Godot. Okay, Godot. Pack number two. Here's Black Belt, Black Mage, Ovelia, Delita, Ramza, Monk, Red X, and Ricard. Man, he's looking pretty tough. Warrior of Light, Lightning, nice. Seraphie and Legendary Valifor. All right, those are two non hollows we'll want to hold on to. And Ricard. Boop. Here's pack number three. We have Knight, Evoker, Devout, Archer, Knight, Dragoon, Dark Knight, and Amadar, Amadar Rare, Agrius, Shiva, Alexander, and Kamari. Hmm. Those don't look like waifus. Yeah, he's not a waifu. He could be a waifu in another life. Final Fantasy packs are always L's. Not always. Shiva! Oh, snap. Those are some buns. We're saving Shiva. Golem, Red Knight, Summoner. Oh, man. There's a cloud. All right. Dark Knight, Summoner, which is a common hollow. Brynhildr, Kate, Bartz, and Cloud of Darkness. Hot Mama. It's the Hoochie Mama. So here's Summoner. Funny enough, the summoner's not as valuable as the cloud, I bet. All right, one more pack for Miss Tammy. 
We've got Summoner, Sid, Yuffie. I have a feeling Yuffie's like one of those valuable characters like Cloud and like Tifa. Here's Titan, Le Leviathan, Duke, Riku, and Kuja. Holy schmollies. So Miss Tammy, that is the end of the Opus 1 packs. Uh, that means if you want to wait, I can get you five from the next box, but I might just keep the next box sealed. It is not here. The, the next box is on the way. And uh, it's I might just keep it sealed because it is a nice thing to have. Now, I'll go ahead and open up those 10 team-ups and quickly pull you the Hyper Rare. Has anyone seen a Lig? Mm, uh, let's leave those up as well. You got that cloud in that little pack. You know what? Let's get the cloud out. Let's get the cloud out. Tell you what, we'll get both Cloud and Lightning out. And Valifor. These others are more like for fun. So Valifor is actually a legendary in this set. You have the Lightning character. Ooh. And non-hollow Cloud, which ironically might be worth something. Even though he's a common, just because he's got Cloud on the front. And just because there's so few of them graded, nobody's grading these. Nobody's grading these Final Fantasy cards, but they do sell. Sneep. Once they've been graded 10. What is this music? I feel like I'm trapped. Trapped in the sound. I'm, I'm trapped in some sort of lullaby music cage. Right off the bat, we got Pikachu and Zekrom. Very nice. All right. Old. Here's Giarados. All right, Giarados. Cold. Here's the water badge. Also cold. Articuno. Holy. Cold. Bill. And finally. Also cold. Woo! All right, Tammy. Tammy, those are some cold ones. Tammy, you had some tough luck that time. Let me go ahead and sleeve these up. Then the rest of the money. Ten Tifas and one Battle Styles. I can definitely do that. So let me go get you ten Tifas. Maybe you pull the Tifa fuller. She's pretty good, actually, in terms of value. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine. And a ten. Also, let me go ahead and get some more penny sleeves. We're going to need them. Oh, my God. What is this music right now? Let's get that one battle styles. The one battle styles with the hyper rare in it, please. All right, one Vivillion, one Vivillon, epic. How about these Tifa packs? How about these Tammy packs? Sleep. 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 Opus one, man. It's so cool that we open all those packs. I appreciate you helping, helping me get everyone to see those. And, uh... Man, I wonder what those will cost over time. All right, here goes Tammy. Pack number one. Ico, Thief, Tiamat, Tiamat, Monk, Yazoo, Merilith, Kuchaspel, Don't. Did you say you liked Don't? I don't remember. Maro, Shiva. All right. So we start out with Koo Chaspel. Help, I'm falling asleep against my will. Pariuke, Yellow Jelly, Ant Lion. We got Mena and Mira, Hooded Hooded Man, Glaucoma. All right, we'll set this over here, the Mira. And we'll sleeve up Mena. Oh, Mena. Oh, stay. 
Here we go. We've got Sprite, Kokobo, Lich, Crow, Cravat, Moody, Porom, Skeleton, Hollow. Checking for any legendaries. No legendaries here. Just seeing what they are. They're just bugs. Skeleton. I fought those guys in Dark Souls. Here's Lucha. Black Waltz, Yenka, Monk, Journey, which is kind of a cute card. Here's Ant Lion Hollow, Yuna Legendary. Here we go. Amo, Skeleton. All right, so let's leave up the Ant Lion. And we'll leave up this Yuna as well. That's a cool drawing, man. I like it. All right, what do we have here? Ico, Clavat. Journey again. Moody. Oh, nice. You got this mirror card. I gotta say, this is a pretty cute card. I don't know what it is. It's like the pink border around the card is actually pretty nice. Yeah, I can I can see that card doing pretty well if it graded uh, 10. Pandemonium, Exodus, Reno. Oof, not FA, but hey, better than nothing. Oh, so you can get this as a full art. So Thief, Red Mage, Monk, Tiamat, Monk, Yellow Jelly, Bobby... Shadow Legendary Hollow. Nice. I'm going to sleeve that up real fast. You got a mean looking dog with them. Marcha, Moro, Yuri. And what is up with this Yuri? It's one of those weird cards. RPR. Put that over there in case it's valuable. <laughs> oh, what is this music? Get that Pokemon music out of here. All I want is one hour of relaxing Yoshi. Beerin, Gadgeteer, Reek, Bobby, Ton, Betty. <gasps> oh! Oh, man, that's a pull. Take a look at that. Tammy's going, yes, Fort! Tammy. Tammy just hit the jackpot, guys. Woo! Tammy, how much you think this card is worth as a 10? You think it's a $500 card? Probably more. I bet there's like $500, $700 as a 10. So guys, what you have to understand with these is the cloud, of course, is very desirable. But this is a legendary hollow, so it's already hard enough to pull a legendary that's hollow. So you got legendary hollow cloud. But on top of that, it's also the full art version of the card, right? So notice how on this card, there's like this ugly box. This one doesn't really have the ugly box, just the words. So that is a huge hit. Tammy, oh my. You're gonna have to, quick, you're gonna have to uh, express it to PSA. Is it worth expressing or you think you just hold it? Yeah, guys, that's a fairly large hit there. Holy schmoles. Let's see what else we got. Tammy, oh, we gotta save that. All right, I clipped it. <laughs> Kraken, Black Waltz, Littlest, Merilith. We got Ridya, Unalaska, Hoochie Mama. Tammy is definitely smiling tonight. We just can't see it because she's on the other side of the screen. Tammy's like, yes! <laughs> Fencer, more like yes, ma'am. Merilith, Mira Fuller. Oh, you did it twice, Tammy! Tammy! <laughs> Another Fuller. Oh my god. Ah! Tammy, you're killing it. Holy. I gotta look these cards up. This one is good too, says Tammy. I believe you, Tammy. Holy. Very cute. Tammy's gonna grade both of these and probably actually profit handsomely off of these pack openings if she were to sell them, which maybe she won't. I don't know if I would. I like collecting cards. That's the whole thing. You just If you pull something hot like that, you just add it to your collection. You don't even need to sell it. Anton Betty Hollow with no more legendaries behind it. Ton Betty. Holy. Now, Tammy, think about this for a second. If I had had the rest of those Opus 1 packs, you wouldn't have pulled those two cards tonight. So it was actually in disguise. It was a good thing that we ran out of those Opus 1 packs. All right. It was it was fated to happen, right? <laughs> so the Mira Full Art and the Cloud Full Art are actually really big pulls here tonight, guys. Take a look at that. Wow. Uh, I'll try to look them up real fast. 
Let's see. So the first one is the cloud card, right? PSA 10 cloud. Probably not even gonna find one. Yeah, there's none for sale of that particular artwork. I won't lie, guys. I think it might be a card that would sell for like $700. No, take a look at this right here. So it did recently sell. First of all, first of all, take a look at this. So this cloud sold for $1,700. That sold like a few days ago. There we go. And uh, here's the card she just pulled. This is the full art. It did sell for like $999 marked down. Now we don't know what it sold for. Maybe it went for like 700. Maybe it went for like 800, you know what I mean? So there it is right there. She just pulled that card and that's the sold. That's not the listed, that's for sold. So that sold July 16th, about a month ago. Now I don't know about the Mira, Cyber name Mira. Yes, Mira from Final Fantasy. Let me check completed listings because there are none for... Oh, I see there are none completed. Let's check and see if there's any for sale. None completed and none for sale. So you could probably just ask whatever you wanted if you were going to sell it. Big pulls. Congratulations. I don't know what to say, guys. All right, let's get this all cleaned up. Holy... You got a bunch of these guys over here. These are just kind of like the sexy, fun cards. But were there any really... Wait, this doesn't belong. Okay, I accidentally put some common and commas up here. <laughs> Those don't belong. So these are just like sexy characters. There's that Mira. Don't. So you got no legendaries up there. I think I will just let those rest in your bag if you don't mind. So ask 2K and see what happens. Yeah, that's what I would do. Now, Tammy Lo, here's your lovely bag. Look what she did last time, guys. Last time, she pulled she pulled this cloud, and this is also a hollow cloud. So Tammy has done uh, surprisingly well with the Final Fantasy cards. Tell you what, Tammy. We'll just go ahead and put those into uh, card graders instead of having them sit. bag candidates for grading all right cool wow what a crazy hot round all right there we go Damn. All right. <laughs> I'm going to write your name on them, but I'm not going to add like a tier or anything like that. Why am I doing capitals? I'm so dumb. Tammy Lo. What is this music? What the hell? Okay. And where they're going to go, Tammy, they're going to go back into this box behind it. Uh, and they're going to be safer over there than sitting in your bag. Uh, there's nothing that's going to happen to your bag. All the bags are pretty safe, but it's just like, let's call it an extra precaution because these are actually quite expensive to replace. I don't want to have to replace those if something went wrong. After Tammy, we've got Mr. Emiliano. He's got two team-ups, two hidden. Tammy. Two team-up, two hidden. And one Cosmic. Have I ever had to replace a card? Uh, never from like a card getting injured on the table or anything like that because cards have never actually been injured on this table. It's never happened. Not even once in two years and some unbelievable number of cards moving in and out of this table. Never had a complaint. Never had to replace anything. All right. Sneep. That's because I'm a big boy, and I just handle all the cards really nicely. So easy. I shave my Pokeballs. Emiliano says no Japanese. Oh, well, these are mine now. Okay. So cold and cold. There we go. I lost. <laughs> I'm like you guys now. 
It hurts. It hurts. All right, Mr. Emiliano, you know, this is actually the third time this has occurred. People order team up, but they don't define whether it's English or Japanese. Snape. It's not really your fault. It's supposed to be my it's supposed to be my job to know what you're ordering. But man, it's getting me over and over. It's killing me. Hoopa! Alright. That's a little bit better than two cold packs, huh? Alright. You also pull. Oh, mister, you also pull Cobalion. Hoopa and Cobalion. Woo! That's a little bit better. Now, how about the Hidden Fates? Hidden Fates, you pull Voltorb. And. Oh, man, that's great. You pulled the Shiny Eevee. This is one of the best Shinies along with the Charmeleon to pull. Very good, very gradable. It's looking well centered, by the way. And Gloom. All right, overall, mixed results, but I thought overall quite good because you didn't open that many packs. So you got two GXs and a Shiny Eevee out of there. Um, yeah, I think that was a decent round. Mr. Emiliano. Jaguar, what's up, Jaguar? All right. Can I open a pack for you? All right, I'm going to open a pack just for you. Was in a meeting, just seen my polls. Um, Doff is pronounced Dov. It's Welsh. Oh, so like David. That's so cool, man. That's so cool. Now we got an order for Mr. Team Rocket Grunt. He says four spots in the large with my credit. Damn. He is playing the long game over here. He says, let's transfer that into the large. All right. I'm praying for you, man. Praying to the Pokey Gods. Team Rocket Grunt just took four spots. Holy. Imagine if that plays out for you, too. Wouldn't that be wild? Moving up in the world. Corey DeShane. Hey, mister, can I get one Opus 11 pack? Oh, speaking of which, I need to go shut down the uh, Opus 1 packs. Those are sold out. Opus 1. Sold out. Sold out. So jumping back to the channel, we have Corey DeShane, who wants an Opus 11 pack. Sounds good. You know what we haven't pulled yet? We haven't pulled the Tifa. So maybe this is like the super hot box that had all both the Cloud and the Tifa in it. There's actually also a Sephiroth in this set as well. So Tifa, Sephiroth, and Cloud are all in this one set. Tiamat, Yazoo, Merilith. Shiva Hollow, Anima. All right, you get the lovely Shiva and her boobies. And Merilith and her boobies. There you go, Mr. Corey. And what are the Anima, Cyan, Kadash? So, so we treat these as bulk. They're not really gradable in my opinion. They wouldn't be worth much to grade. There's kind of a bazillion of them. Corey DeShane. Where did we put your bag, Mr. Corey? Corey, I feel like I put your bag somewhere where I told myself it's going to be a pain in the ass to find this later. Nope, it's right here, actually. I must be imagining things. Thank you, Mr. Corey. Are you a plumber, mister? Wahoo, it's to me, TCC, yo. Ruben, Ruben Aguilar, he says PSA 10 electrode. All right, you got it, Mr. Ruben. And then he says, Sneep an Opus 4. All right, let's write Ruben Aguilar. Thank you so much, Mr. Ruben. Sneep an Opus 4. Now, I don't know if I have Opus 4. Let me see. If... I think what you mean is Opus 5. We're sold out of the Opus 4. So let me grab one of these. Ha ha. Mister, my sink has a leak. Do you think I should jump on a turtle just in case? You should. Stomp it. Stomp the heck out of that turtle. 
All right, we're snipping this pack for Mr. Ruben. Are you ready, Ruben? How's it going, Jaguar? All right, snip time. Oh, man. Oh, those are much tougher than the Pokemons. Ugh. Oh, if somebody had me snip through like 10 of these, it'd break my hands for sure. Can you open a pack for me? Sounds good. I should open a pack for Mr. Jaguar Plays. Damn, that that was really hard to cut through. And you got a hollow rare Nora. Not Nora! No! Oh, man. My boy Nora's dead. Next up, we got Kevin Thorne. He says, three hot chilling rains. You got it, Kevin Thorne. All right, Kevin. Bro, your PSA cards are cool. Aw, your PSA cards are cool. Sneep. Cutting pokies is gonna start World War IV. That's right. <laughs> Toss this away. So, Mr. Kevin, if that's even your real name, we've got Snow Runt. Add it to the total, mister. Oh, you're right. Porygon and Articuno V. One very hot Articuno. How could you cut through that innocent Final Fantasy character like that? Do you have no shame? All right, Kevin Thorne, do you have a bag? Let's see if Kevin Thorne has a bag. Kane, Kara, Kevin Thorne. Kevin Thorne, you had exactly the same card. Now you have two Articuno Vs, Galarian Articuno Vs. Kaka! Very good. So we're updating the sneaked cards to 286. 286. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. Jaguar says, can you open a pack for me? Sounds good, Mr. Jaguar. Now we've got Sergeant Allen. I am Scissor. I want six chilling rain. Been watching your stream for two years straight. Now I do rip and ship. Oh, so nice, man. All right, let's do it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what you get, mister. Need a new bag, Mr. Sergeant. Sergeant, how many pokies do you think we moved on this channel in the last two years? Must be a crazy amount. So many pokies. Ho, ho, ho. Hi, I'm new. Loving the stream. What's up, Levi? Nice to meet you, new. Scissor 300, that's me. Yeah, we've we've opened so many pokies. I wonder if we've actually helped sort of like spread the hobby to, to anyone or got people back into the hobby. Here's Celebi VMAX. Oh, Celebi VMAX looking well-centered too. Now we have Melanie looking very luscious, also known as Boobany. Surviper. Mister, can you open a OAC for me? I don't know what an OAC is. Pack number five is Lycanroc. And pack number six. You ready? Frostlass! Woo! That's one lovely Celebi VMAX. It's about right. Six packs, one, one pull. Would have been nicer if it was two pulls. So, Mr. Sergeant, we need the pee, -pee chew Oh, we're getting the peepee chew. Not too bad. That's right. You did get a pull, and it was full art. It was Celebi, and it was decently centered. Allen. There we go. Woo. Juan Garcia, he says this. This is my last one, I swear. <laughs> Here it goes, man. Choop, 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 choop. Carvana, ha. Oh, man, you got the Carvana, ha, ha. Damn, dude. I'm sorry, Mr. Garcia. 
Harvon Huff. Eric Lovato is right after you and literally says one live. Eric Lovato. Oh! Oh, no, not the four stripes. I can't believe it, Mr. Garcia. You guys both ordered in the same minute. Look. Juan Garcia, Eric Lovato. You ordered in the same minute. Oh, man. What's four stripes? When you see those four little stripes, it means that it was a particularly pricey or, or decent card. So this is a decent card. Okay. And it is the Nest Ball Ultra Rare. Damn it, I never win anything. Jaguar says, I don't have any Mewtwo's. So when it comes to tr golden trainer cards, a lot of golden trainer cards are, are not that desirable. But this one actually is because it's one of the Pokeballs. People will spend a lot of money for the Pokeball Ultra Rares. So that's a nice pull, Mr. Eric Lovato. Charlie Alesco says, let's try, la he says, last try. I'm addicted to XY Evolutions. You've got it. So that looks a lot like eight pulls, eight packs. Let's see if I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only had seven, so let me go get a fresh kilo of Evolutions. Wow, I'm gonna run out of evolutions pretty soon. You guys are nuts over here. All right. Whew. All right, go ahead and snip this up. Me, 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 me. Oh man, Jaguar's saying me, 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 me. I'm gonna have to get him some free ones. Nifto, looking for the free ones. Can I open a pack for you? I sure can. All right. I'm looking for some free ones. Me, 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 me. All right, there we go. And can I please have a Charizard, says Andrew. Okay. Oh, did we actually grab an eighth pack? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it was only seven packs worth, but I'll take eight. Did I do my math wrong? Hold on. Let me just double check. You sent 175. Oh, you're right. It is seven. <laughs> He's like, but I'll take eight. Well, let's see how good your pulls are. Let's see how it goes. Maybe you won't need eight, huh? I mean, with seven packs, undoubtedly you pulled every Charizard in the box, in the set. Can you open a pack for me? Sneep. And sneep. All right. Pikachu. We got Pikachu Weedle, Nidorino. All right, we got Schmidorino. He's a little off center. I think Jaguar Plays needs to be a mod. Next pack, we've got Vulpix, Sandshrew, Magnemite, Pichu again. Very nice. That one almost looks darker. Pidgeot, Spirit Link, and Chansey. All right, as you know. The Chansey gives you a chance at a PSA 10 Chansey. There's only like one in the world. Here it goes. Nah, there's a print line. <laughs> there they are. <sighs> All right. Let's leave it up. You got a nice PSA 9 Chansey. Next pack. So Charmander. We got Polyrath, but something's behind the Polyrath. Mega Venusaur. Sweet. All right. Now you got Venusaur EX and Mega Venusaur. The Poliwag, by the way, looks very well centered. 
Here's Diglett, Seal, Nidoran, Dodowo, Diglett, Doug Trio. Wow, this was like the Diglett pack. Started with Diglett, the hollow was Diglett. They said, you really want some Diglett. Here's Diglett, Ghastly, Caterpie. Oh, there we go, mister. Woo, Charizard Hollow. You, in fact, did pull him. Congratulations. That's for Charlie Alesco, or Elisco. I don't know if I'm saying it quite right. Nice to meet you, by the way, Charlie. You did it! Yay! All right, we'll go ahead and put this to the side. I'll pick him up. I'm seeing a thin print line down by his leg. He is decently centered. I think he would have a shot at a nine. So you might have a nine Charizard here. Sweet! You also, by the way, pick up this flying Pikachu in that pack. Uh, okay, and now you've got two packs left. Second Charizard, maybe? That would be nice. Possible. Rattata and Venusaur and another secret rare. Good old Rattata. Trusty Rattata. Here's Venusaur. That's a green flame error. Oh, he's right. That I don't know if that makes it much more valuable. Do they even denote that on the label? So he's referring to some of the Charizards. Um, the flame right here is like a green color. That's what he's referring to. They don't all have that. Uh, they don't. They don't actually say that on the label at PSA, right? Here's Magikarp. Oh man, I thought you were gonna pull the Reverse Hollow too. <laughs> I saw the red and I got hyped. But that is Reverse Hollow Charmeleon. Looks blue to me. No, it's green. It is green. Might just be the uh, computer settings you have for your screen, your monitor, or your TV. Making sure I didn't miss any Pikachus for you. Pikachus, Charmanders. All right, we're good. Cool. Very nice, mister. All you had to do was go deep. All you had to do was pokey believe. And all your pokey dreams will come true. I'm watching telepathically. I don't have a screen. <laughs> Very good. All right, Xavier. <laughs> all right. Mr. Charlie. Charles, get out of my head. Unknown for mod. All right, let's do it. Jaguar plays says, me, 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 me. Jaguar plays, what are you looking for, Mr. Jaguar? All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Evolutions will always be my favorite. What's yours? Tokimon's going, re. <laughs> Open a pack for you. Uh, okay, so what pack would you like for me to open for you? Would you like it to be a, a Gym Heroes or a... Uh, there's Jungle. Here's another Gym Heroes. What else we got? We got more Gym Heroes. We got a lovely Fossil Pack. You want me to open a Fossil Pack for you? All right, guys. Uh, so first, I'm going to make Mr. Jaguar plays a mod. So now Jaguar plays is the new moderator. And now we're going to open up this 1996 booster pack of Fossil for Mr. Jaguar Plays, you know, because he was so persistent in asking. Uh, that didn't really tear the way I hoped it would. All right, Mr. Jaguar plays. Just opening some booster packs for our good friend Jaguar. You know, when you say me, 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 usually the outcome is that you get all the free Pokemons. All right, we trimmed it. I couldn't stand it. <laughs> Who cares? It's like one pack. It'd probably go for like 15 bucks. All right, here we go. Here's the holographic card. Handling it super rough. There we go. Now, what do we got? We've got Cloyster, Graveler, Amistar, Gambler, uh, Ancient Fossil, Energy Search, 
Hey, there we go. There's Psyduck. We've also got Slowpoke. Damn, we got both the good commons. Slowpoke and Psyduck. Nice. The funny thing is, if these two gar cards graded 10, they'd probably pay for the pack. That's a wild thing. Can I trade them for a GX? I think you can, but first we have to see the hollow, okay? And then maybe you could trade them for a GX. All right, and for the card, oh man, look at this lovely Dragonite. Ooh, look at that with the little swirl. Wow, that's so nice. Now, I was thinking, Mr. Jaguar, that we do a trade for these cards for a GX, okay? Would you do that, please? I was just hoping you would do a trade with me for GX. Shiny Sand Slash, I like that uh, emoji. You got a little swirl emoji. Oh, man. So sexy. Congrats, Jaguar. <laughs> What's that card for 125, mister? What? Of course it's Dragonite. Yeah, it's pretty lucky. I'm looking for the Mew, to be honest. I'm looking for the Hollow Mew, uh, because that's the one I don't have. I actually own the Dragonite already. All right, so let me go put this empty... Uh, I'll grab this other pack, too. Let me go grab this, too. This is the one where the Pidgeot came out. Remember the Pidgeot? All right, and I'm going to do a little GX trade. So I was thinking, Mr. Jaguar, that we should trade, okay? So if you will trade me, I will give you these two lovely Mewtwo's. We've got Mewtwo GX and another Mewtwo GX. He says, okay, all right. Wow, you're so good at this, Jaguar plays. Where should I put these? I'll put these back here for now. Okay, we're logging back in. Let's log back in. Can you ship it? All right, here, let me go put it in the shipping pile, okay, Jaguar? Well, here, I'll set it over here for now. What a nice trade. I'll go ahead and place these back. Freaking Dragonite, guys. That's a nice night for me, huh? Wish I had... Whoa, you know, I should have saved a highlight of that. Let's see if I can, actually. All right. So, let's see. Where were we? We helped Sergeant, Mr. Garcia, Mr. Eric, Mr. Charlie. We're moving on to Mr. Dionisio Gonzalez. Dio Nishio Gonzalez, three packs of Eevee heroes. Please rub them for good luck. Sounds good. Rub, 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 rub. All right. Jeremy Patterson says, Jaguar, free Mewtwo, please. Me, 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 me. Oh, well, he's asking for a free Mewtwo. What do you think, Jaguar, please? Jaguar says, okay. All right, here is an Eldegoss. Do you guys think I should have TCC send the Charizard to grade? It says Ghostlight. Oh, 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 you're Charlie, aren't you? Um, what you should do, Charlie, here's my advice. You should either send it to CGC Tier 1 or wait for PSA to fully open and then send it uh, PSA Tier 1. That's my recommendation. Okay. You shouldn't be afraid to send it to CGC because you're not trying to grab a, a PSA 10 with it anyways. So it won't really matter if it grabs like an 8.5 or a 9 with CGC. CGC would probably give it 8.5 if I had to guess. So Dionisio says three packs of Eevees. Please rub them together for good luck. Dionisio, you've got one Eldegoss Hollow. Would you like to keep this or would you like to donate it? I'm afraid your packs this time 
were kind of cold. Do you think I should declare? Can you shuffle, please, says Blossom. Jaguar says I'm nice. Jaguar, you're so nice. Here's Galarian Berserker. Donate. I, I, I do already. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, mister. Here's Sudowoodo. I'm sorry you didn't get any hyper rares. Put the Toto dial. And Wigglytuff. That's Dark Wigglytuff. Looking fierce, man. Stay away from Dark Wigglytuff. Kevin Thorne says three more chilling rain. You got it. Mr. Kevin Thorne. Jaguar's the new secretary you're after. That's right. That's true. Sleep. I'm about to change my YouTube channel name to Jaguar Place. So, Kevin Thorne. We've got Steenie. And Delibird Tauros. And finally, Cast Form Grappolog. I'm sorry, man. Those were not the hot ones, I'm afraid. Kevin, no snipe. I'll take two Jaguars, mister. Sounds good. Next up, we've got David Rees. He says... Japanese team up three and Japanese lost Thunder one. Oh man, I'm trying not to sneeze here. Why do I have a sneeze coming on? All right, you got it. Mr. Daff Rees. Daff Rees. I'm just trying to say your name right. I'm so bad at this. Oh, my nose is runny and I need to sneeze. I don't know what I inhaled. <laughs> If he snipes on this one pack, let's see. Nope, that's a cold one. Here's team up. Oh, look, Latios, Latios. Does your child need to go back to school this fall? Come to Gap. We have the best back, the backpacks. And so oh, look at this Charizard. That's how this music sounds. I'm making fun of the music. I eat pre-cooked bacon right out of the pack. Wow, man, you're that hard, huh? <laughs> and cold. All right, not bad actually. Picking up Charizard and a GX, Latios, Latios. That is a good night in my opinion. Mister, you better, what? Oscar Roble says 10 EV heroes and a custom booster and live shipping. What's up, Oscar? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we got nine. Mudkip is the best starter, huh? Man, those are some strong words, mister. Me, 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 me. I would appreciate a free slab, mister. Oh my, let me go get you one. What a rad idea for a channel. I love it. What's going on, Mr. Hello Greedo? Nice to meet you. All right, let me go ahead and grab one more of these. Woo. Hello Greedo, I used to have a gaming channel. Well, I still do. I just, it's kind of a dormant channel. It's not really being used. And I got back into Pokemon cards and look at me now. I'm on my way to 100,000, but I'm still pretty far away from reaching it. Snape, 100,000 subscribers I'm talking about. Yeah, we've been doing this for about two years now. It's pretty exciting. You would like to give your Mewtwo to Uncle John. Sounds good, man. So, Mr. Oscar Robles, good luck. Cold. Here's Vaporeon. Ooh. Do you have to get up to get my free slab, or is it the one back there? Um, uh, good question, man. Here's a cold one. Uncle John says, I'm so lucky. Here's Entei. Espeon. Whee! I think that's the sound that Espeon makes. How many packs if I give you my soul? Uh, I could give you about four evolutions, roughly. 
There we go. We got Umbreon. Holy. They need to make the surprise Pikachu meme into a Pokemon card already. Why have they not done that? It's like such a missed opportunity. Sylveon on GX. Oh, mister. And Marshadow. No secret rare in there. Apologize for that, but I'm afraid that is the way it is. That's for Oscar Robles, who wants live shipping. Now, Oscar, I have a feeling that you have an old bag. Do you have an old bag, Oscar Robles? Let's see. Oh, you don't have an old one. You have one right here. But let me just double check and make sure you don't also have another one that's real old. I'm so sorry. I have like a runny nose right now. I'm trying not to sneeze. Huh, so weird. All right. Now, he also has a live custom blooster. Let's see what that turns into. Oscar Robles. Choop, 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 choop. A Torkoal. I'm sorry, Oscar. That is not the crazy hot one. I'll go ahead and throw these into your bag. You want live shipping on this, huh? How many Mewtwo do I have? Uh, as many Mewtwo as you want, mister. So let's get live shipping for Oscar Robles real fast. Mr. Oscar, I see you have an address that begins with 2-2. Two, two. So we're going to be using that. This music definitely reminds me of, like, Charlie Brown. I drank squirrel juice straight from the hole. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh no, is my software crashing? What's going on? Oh, US postal rates have changed. All right, hold on. US postal rates have gone up, that's what it means. All right, there we go. US postal rates keep going up and up and up. New member, how's it going, Mr. Sayashi? Nice to meet you. All right, Oscar. New member. Me, 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 me. You're still live. We're live a little later than usual. We're at 300 minutes. You know, I missed yesterday's live stream, so that's part of the reason why we're up so late this time. Um, just making up for that missed day a little bit. Uh, but we really should wrap up. What time is it? It's 4.42. Finally could pay for the membership. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, guys, I tell you what, here's my final warning. You guys need to make your purchases now if you're doing live customs, okay? So make your purchases now if you're going to go any deeper on the live custom boosters because we're going to wrap up and I'm going to call no more orders. It is pretty late and I, I need to start working on the shipping, okay, everyone? We have Midnight Suazo who wants four Japanese team-ups. All right. Four of them, huh? What a crazy night. YT Products ordered 30 live custom boosters. That is so crazy. Now he wants one Shining Fates. All right, you got it. One Shining Fates. Have a nice night, Mr. Jaguar Plays. Oh, man. Runny nose. Mister, it's almost work time. Oh, man. Work time. <laughs> Have a nice night, Jaguar Place. All right. Let's see what we got. We've got a cold one. And... Oh, mister! That is a lovely Pikachu Zekrom. Take a look at that, guys. Ooh. Pikachu looking pretty tough. He's about to start his rap battle, I think, with a uh, look like that on his face. Holy moly. So nice. Now let's open up the last two packs. Here's Blastoise. And... And a cold one. 
Not true says yes! I know, some dreams really do come true. And... Santa Scorch Ditto, really not a bad pack at all. Not a bad one at all. Picking up two cards in one pack. Angry people, you go hard. That's right. <laughs> Stay out of his path because he will wreck you. Do you know about the SM base problem? Oh, I know all about it. All right, Mr. Midnight. I wrote the book on that subject, maybe. I do wish I could have that full art trainer, Nessa. Me too, mister. Can I just have that? Ruben Aguilar says five sky stream. You got it, Mr. Ruben. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see what happens. What's your favorite card? Uh, this one. Sneep. I want a flattery card. Oh, how nice. Mr. My Dog Ate My PSA 1 Steam Siege Pack. Can I have all your cards? Oh, man. So sorry to hear that. Let me get all my cards for you. Here's Salamance. Here's Rayquaza VMAX. Whee! Wow, that's a really scary roar. Scaring me, man. He's got those little gummies. Here's Trevenant. Brrr. Oh, man. That's also a really scary roar. Holy... Holy moly, cold. And, ah, uh, Dragonite giving you a little hey. Look at that little, he's going, hey, Dragonite. He's such a player. Okay, so, Mr. Aguilar, not a bad round at all. I think all three, how many packs was that? Oh, it was five packs. Out of five packs, you got three pulls, which is actually a pretty high pull rate. Uh, and honestly, the Salamence Hollow looks kind of nice too, doesn't he? So put him in there, uh, and we'll put this in your bag. Whew. Now we have another order for Dioncio Gonzalez. He wants a pack of Vivid Voltage. Good luck. Let's see what you got. Here we go. Swoobat, Swoobat. All right, you got the Swoobat, mister. Let's grab your Eldegoss back. Here's your Eldegoss again. Swoobat, Eldegoss, hell yeah. Football is starting today, nice. I'm going to go get all the football cards. So, Mr. Swoobat, let's put you in Mr. Dionchio's bag. Dion... Dionicio. I apologize. I'm probably saying that all wrong. Mister, how many double V promos do you have? I don't have any. Mister, you should be playing football. All right, let me go play football. Emiliano says, Mister, nine jet black. Holy moly. Nine silver lands. Six matchless. Six chilling rain. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six of them. All right, I'm calling no more orders, guys. No more orders. We're wrapping up, okay? It's 5 a.m. I got lots of shipping to do. I got to be asleep by 7 a.m. So I got exactly two hours to get as much shipping done as possible. Mister, you would make a great linebacker. That's what I was thinking. I'd make a great linebacker. Need four more? Let me just count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Okay. So we've got nine of the Jet Black Spirits. Nine Silverlands. 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 Is pokey time in my bedroom? Grab this. Whew. He's come back for more packs. Who did? You would just tell the other team, no, 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 no. And they would have no choice but to listen. That's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that should be nine Silver Lance. Silver Lance. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Six matchless fighters. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And six chilling rain. One, two, three, four, five, six. All for you, Mr. Emiliano. The guy, you're the type to put your biscuit in mashed potatoes. What? All right. Sneep. Sneep. You said six matchless fighter and put six battle style. Oh my God, you saved me. I almost gave him six battle style. Although they're roughly the same price, aren't they? So I don't think it would have been a big deal. I guess it would have just depended on whether or not he liked his pulls. So let me toss these over here. You are right. In my mind, they're the same set. Oops, but they are not. They are actually not. So give me those matchless fighters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six matchless fighters. Because I'm getting tired, guys. How long is the stream been going? Like five hours or something? You know that makes your brain tired, right? Can't just talk nonstop for five hours. It just doesn't work that way. With no breaks? I don't even get a 15-minute break. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think so. One, two, three, four, and five, six. There we go. Okay. That's why you're the mister. All right, here goes Emiliano. Good luck. We're going through your matchless first. Here's Hatterene. Mmm, she's got that one little hair hat hand. Bet that feels nice. Here's Thunderous. Rune Rigus. He's like a rune. You've got Dracovish. Oh, heck yeah. That's the pull, mister. Ah! All right, one Dracovish. Compare Dracovish to like Kabutops. Seriously, it's not even close. What is the, the design on these Pokemons? Can we call them Doofymons? All right, here we go. Cold. Also cold. We're working on Chilling Rain. Here's Frostlass, looking very frost lassy. Also kind of cold. Also kind of cold. Woo! Guardive wear. She's kind of cute, not gonna lie. Here's the frost lass again. Oh man, this is a cold round in the chilling rain. Oh, there we go. One light part. Woo! That's pretty cold. Almost as cold as frost lass. All right, we're on to jet black spirit. Cold. Cold. Here's Greedent. He's very greedy. Cold. No more orders. Womp womp. We are at 315 minutes. I need to wrap up and do a little shipping. What's up, Packology? Here's Cobalion. And one Zorora. Woo! How do you do it? Emiliano, this is a tough round for you so far. It could all turn around right now if you just pull the Galarian Moltres out of these chilling rain. Could happen. In theory, it could happen. All you need is one booster pack, and really, one booster pack could have that Moltres in it. All right, let's see what happens, guys. We got Greedent Rillaboom. But wait, mister, I just ordered 30 live customs. <laughs> I don't have 30 live customs anymore. Sir Fetched. Oh, man, that's Blissey. I'm scared for you, man. This might be a pretty cold round coming your way. 
have the longest dream for opening Pokemon cards. So there's Blissey. Zapdos. Okay. I mean, so the Chilling Rain pulls are decent. You know, six packs, two Vs. That's not bad. But that does not help with all of the cold Japanese pulls you had. Come on, this is going to be the hit. Nah, it's Mary. I'm so sorry, mister. You went pretty deep on those Japanese packs, and they were not paying out. They were not paying out very good. You got Zapdos, Blissey, Zorora, Lipard, and Dracovish. I don't know. That feels pretty bad. Uh, let me toss you this Charizard GX, okay? That came out of the Hidden Fates 10. Here you go, Mr. Emiliano. Jaguar is a UK timed alarm clock for Mr. to end the stream. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay, this is the last refresh that I'm doing. I'm not doing any more refreshes on this, okay? After this. So no more orders, everyone. Okay, we have Oscar Robles, another custom booster, and another Eevee booster pack. I ordered live shipping. Hope you can add these to the same box. I sure can. So, one live custom for Oscar Robles. Choop, 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 choop. Mudbray. Whirr. That's one Mudbray. And let's see what becomes of this Eevee Heroes pack. Hmm. I don't like to open up cards without sneeping them. I feel like sneeping is so much better. Here's Swampert. I'm sorry, man. Those are going to be pretty cold. So, Oscar Robles. You should have a bag over here. Did you watch Suicide Squad? Uh, no. <laughs> Suicide Squad's Joker made me cringe every time I saw him. Now we have Jesse Salinas. I thought you would never return, Jesse. Three, three chilling rain. All right. Time to snipe, Jesse. Sneep. Sneep. All right. We got three sneep packs. Whew. I am feeling it. Here's Serena and Teleon. Celebi UV. Very nice, mister. All right. We got a Celebi Full Art. And Cub Fu. Not bad. Three packs, one hit. Jesse Salinas should be like right here, right? How did I know that? Nice when I can just locate a bag like magic. Oscar Robles. I'll take four Eevee Heroes and a custom booster. You got it. One, two, three, four. Mr. Oscar, you pull. Choop, 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 choop. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice, dude. That is Butterfree VMAX Rainbow Rare and Scissor VMAX Rainbow Rare from Darkness Ablaze. Wow. Very nice. Very good. Whew. Mods are slacking. <laughs> the mods do a good job. They're just they're just volunteering to hang out. You know, they don't get paid or anything necessarily. I guess they kind of do. If I if I like do a little giveaway for them or something, but that's not very often, so they're not like paid very much or anything. It's not really paid, it's more like just a friendly gesture. Cold? I think the mods do a very good job. Okay. So you, you also... Uh, oh, we need to put these into your shipping bag. Here you go, Mr. Oscar. Mr. Oscar.
Luis Rodriguez. Two Unified Minds. All right, two Goonies. This is for Luis. One Unbroken Bonds. Here we are. Unbroken Bondage. Three Shining Fates. Tell me I've got three. Oh my lord, you gotta be kidding. I got two Shining Wait, I got one. Right, I got some up top. Okay, we're good. So two Shiny Fates and one from up top. There we go. It's about to get very annoyed. Three Shiny Fates, one Vivid Voltage. Okay, Vivid Voltage. Do, 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 do. Here it is. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Hey guys, Mr. Favorite Say, it's Team Siege. I'm a mod. <laughs> Wow, late stream. It is, but we are all done. This is the last order of the night. There are no more orders. Snip. All right. Master, time to get you the hot ones. You're the last guy to open cards. We got Finian. We got Ekans Greninja. Greninja's kind of cool. Here's the Unis. Munchlax. I got the munchies right now. Here's Zarud and Didi. Q font Rillaboom. Oh man, this round's not turning out to be very much of anything. Oh man, that's no good. How about. Woo! Perfectly cold! Woohoo! Mom! Get him some cold ones! Oh, mister, I'm telling you, you guys like to spread your orders out across different sets, like one pack here, two pack there. It it often ends like this. It does. It. I just can't help it. There's nothing I can do as the guy who opens the cards. I just kind of sit back and watch. So we got a pack of lovely hollows. I threw in that septile to, to help soften the blow. Woo! Mr. Louie. I apologize. That was a tough ending. I recommend... You don't have to do it, guys, but I do recommend picking up packs just out of one set at a time. Mr. Lewis, did you get a new bag or did I put you in the overflow? I bet I put you in the overflow or something. Um, I'm going to write your name down here because I am very tired and don't want to find your bag. I need to stand up and stretch and drink. There we go, Luis Rodriguez. So I will go ahead and refresh this last time just to see if there's anything of prominence that pops up, but we are all done, okay? Ah, uh, can I have one set of everything you have? I'll give you $2, drink the moist. I'm here to drink. Yes, so we are all done. I really enjoyed opening all those cards for you guys. Thank you for all of your support and the donations and, um, just hanging out and having fun. We'll be back on tomorrow, roughly at the same time. And I can't wait. So I'll see you guys there. If you don't want to miss the stream, you should consider hitting the subscribe button or the bell. See you guys tomorrow.